Participants are requested kindly mute yourself. I cannot. <laughs>
हाँ सर गुड मॉर्निंग मोबाइल बंद कर नमस्कार
हेलो 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 हाँ सर हाँ गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग आवाज है तो हो सर ओके आता अपन शुरू करें यार सर्वप्रथम आता प्रास्तविक जाने की आपने ना सर डीन सर शुभ चेंज दी थी ना इधर चलने तक बैठ कर थोड़ा सा चेंज करते हैं वहाँ ओके आगोदर सर बोलता है मजे लेने को थैंक यू चालू करें सर ओके गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स फ्रेंड्स ए केमिकल साइंस इज ए सब्जेक्ट वेर वी हैव नंबर ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन ए different field to reach to our aim and achieve our goals in the competitive examination is a 
intermediate part in the system so we are on the platform to discuss about the road map to competitive examination in chemical science a national workshop organized by iqsc and department of chemistry ahmednagar jilla maratha vidya prasarak samaj new arts commerce and science college parle i welcome today's chief guest dean science and technology savitribai phule phule university pune principal dr mg saskar sir i welcome here i also welcome today's resource person dr gajanan rashinkar professor department of chemistry shivaji university kolhapur and dr babu singh professor professor dr baba sir ambedkar maratwada university aurangabad we think we are also welcome, welcome. principal of our college dr ayer sir vice principal and head department of chemistry professor dr d r thuve sir coordinator of today's workshop assistant professor sagar maske all my colleagues of the department and organizing committee i welcome i also warm welcome all the participants join us from a long distance teachers, teachers students and aspirant from various college and the umbrella of chemical science branch i welcome i welcome all of you with this warm welcome uh, uh, first i would like, I would like to, to invite uh, uh, today's chief guest dr mg saskar present is sir is a dean faculty of science and technology savitri bai phule pune sir is also member management council member of a management council sppu pune since 2019 sir is also a working as a joint secretary for a pune district education association pune before, before that, that principal, principal uh, he is a principal of professor ramkrishna more college akurdi work, work as a member for peer team in a nac with this able his able guidance akurdi college achieved a 3.46 gpa in the third nac cycle in 2019 he is also a recipient of phd in chemistry from sppu and he has completed post doctoral work from a japan sir has published more than 50 research articles in the reputed journals and guided successfully one of the student uh, for for his phd and four are pursuing their phd he is always highly supporting and motivating to all of us with this brief introduction i will like to request honorable dr mg saskar for inaugural address please sir so good morning i am adable yes sir yes sir yes sir yes my friend principal dr aher resource person from shivaji university and dr baba saheb ambedkar university dr singte vice principal dr thube coordinator associate coordinator staff member and dear students participants already i could not join before two webinar as dr thube invited me due to some reason and this time i can't dare to say no and that's the reason today i'm here i'm very happy to talk to you on the occasion of national webinar on road map to competitive examination in chemical science organized by new arts commerce college science college parner i know in the rural area such type of the organization of seminar is very difficult task but since last 5 to 6 month in pandemic dr aher and dr thube took lots of efforts to organize the seminar different 
areas. So I congratulate them first. We inaugurate this workshop, though due to pandemic, we away each other, but we are in spirit together. This webinar aims to motivate and guide students for competitive examination like UPSC, MPSC, CSR, NEET, SAIT, and various entrance examination. It also aims to develop competitive skills and spirit within student. I knew Principal Ahir and Dr. Thube is continuously organizing such type activities and training workshop for the students every year. They not conducted such activities as a program, but these are result-oriented activities. So especially, I congratulate both. Chemical science plays important role, direct and indirect, in health and economy, education, and employment in society. So in competitive examination, questions are related to application base. So those are trying for the UPSC, MPSC, SAGES, they should learn definition, examples, applications of chemical sciences. I just give one example here. If the question asks on the slag, slag is a byproduct of cement industry. But the question asks, that time you should know the definition, example, and application. Then only you will success in that areas. I know science and technology is a familiar topic that we here almost every day. Our daily life is affected and affected by it from down to dust we see and experience science and technology. We rise the day when we hear the alarm clock, order food online, watch the news, talk to people or phone. All is, these tell us how necessary science and technology in day-to-day -day life. So I request all my dear students to understand the basic concepts. Each and every term once you understood fully, then definitely all such, such type of the competition exams are easy for you. I give the one suggestion to Dr. Tube. Sir, when you're going to organize a seminar for the graduate level, I mean, for BS final year student and MSc final year student, why should not you try to organize the student for 12th and the first year student and continue this rapport next three years, next five years, when the student admitted in the master course, definitely the success rate will be enhanced. So this is only the, my suggestion. I don't have much more time because already I late, I reached to the university and start the today's exam paper. So uh, I declare the inauguration uh, in this uh, webinar as a uh, such a uh, visual, uh, virtual way. I just give the one quote and then I will going to stop. Thousands of candles can be lightened from a single candle and life of the candle will not be shortened. It means knowledge never decrease by being shared, same role are playing here, Dr. Tube and Principal are here. So I congratulate them once again. And to this seminar, give a best wishes on behalf of our Vice Chancellor and Saitubai Pule Pune University. Once again, uh, best wishes and thank you very much, sir. You invited me here and give a ch chance, a dialogue with you. Thank you very much. 
thank you very much sir for your inaugural speech and you are very nicely that is uh, given a very example for our students also now i request dr professor dr dr dubey sir member of bos chemistry sppu pune vice principal and head of our department of our college for introduction please sir good morning first of all i would like to thank honorable dean faculty of science and technology sanitary by pune university for giving his valuable time and uh, gracing over this organization thank you very much good morning one and all honorable fac dean faculty of science and technology sanitary by pune university pune a guest of honor for today's webinar principal dr m g chaskar sir honorable principal of our college dr rangna tahe sir honorable members faculty of science and technology uh, member board of studies in chemistry today's resource persons dr babu singh tek sir uh, from dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad dr rashin kar sir from shivaji university kolhapur esteemed delegates from all corners of india students research aspirants teachers heads of various departments convener of this webinar sagar maske sir my colleagues from the department of chemistry as well as from our college on the behalf of our parent institute ahmednagar jilla maratha vidya prasarit samaj ahmednagar and new arts commerce and science college parnir i wish very warm welcome to one and all in this national workshop on road map to competitive examinations in chemical sciences which is abbreviated as rcecs 2020 this is the seventh national event organized by department of chemistry during last four years the department of chemistry was established in 1992 in the form of ug course and now is recognized as well known pg center as well as sppu recognized research center in chemistry our department is catering the educational needs and desires of more than 1000 students in the form of bsc msc as well as phd courses and some skill enhancing certificate courses particularly on green chemistry safety and its awareness and instruments handling with the help of 16 motivated and dedicated teachers from our department we are continuously organizing the training workshops every year for the competitive examinations particularly neat neat jrf sec as well as gate examinations our students have excelled in such competitive examinations as well as in the university examinations and secured ranks many times we are very proud to state that many of them have completed their phd from renowned institutes like ncl i sir iit is from india and some of them have had prestigious fellowships like dag humboldt marie curie dfg for their phds and post doctoral research work at god and are serving for the various organizations in india in the form of various prestigious positions friends we all know that the professional development of the candidate occurs with the aid of competitive examinations only net and say or slate examinations are mandatory for availing the teaching positions in college as well as universities in india the students interested in research career will be able to achieve meritorious scholarships of various renowned universities in india and abroad with the help of with the aid of such net gr gr token like examinations the research carried out in any discipline and teaching of the subject always goes hand in hand most of the students are appearing for these examinations without proper planning hence they are not able to succeed in these examinations or they require longer time to qualify these examinations hence to cope up with this at early stage while doing post graduation itself if they can plan and prepare for these examinations they will be able to succeed in these examinations i feel 
this is the right time and right platform to discuss the innovative ways of preparation. With this aim, we have planned today's workshop for the benefit of aspirants and particularly the India's bright future pride students. We are conducting two broad sessions with the help of highly experienced, renowned and inspiring speakers, Dr. Taskar sir, Dr. Singh Te sir, Dr. Rashinkar sir, I'm very happy and proud to declare that this will be a big event for our institute. For our institute. As till this moment, 960, 60 plus participants have registered from various states of India, particularly Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Punjab and Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal. We know that you all may not be able to secure your position in Zoom meeting due to limit of 500 participants, which is now going to reach. There are 471 participants till this moment. And therefore, we have purposefully established a live YouTube channel and link for the same is delivered to you through email and telegram channel yesterday. And the YouTube live streaming has already started. I feel young minds must take this privilege and prepare for examinations using today's discussions. Ensure that today's discussions and the speakers will help you all to choose the right path for making big success. And we are very excited to see your positive results of these examinations in near future. We have purposefully invited eminent speakers who are experts and have put themselves as a role model for these examinations. Therefore, with this introduction, I thank you all for participating in this workshop and welcome you all once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you, sir, uh, for the brief introduction about the roadmap to competitive examination in chemical sciences. Thank you, sir. With this, uh, uh, now, I would like to request our young and dynamic principal, Dr. R.K. Ahir, sir, for welcome address. Please, sir. Thank you, uh, Professor Narsali, sir, and uh, Dr. Tuvi, sir. Uh, good morning, all. Respected Chief Guest of National Workshop, Dr. M.G. Chaskar, Dean, Faculty of Science, Savitribhai Phule, Pune University, Pune. Today's resource person, Dr. Gajanan Rashinkar, Professor of Chemistry, Shivaji University, Kolapur. The second resource person of today's workshop, Dr. Bapu Shingte, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Marathwada University, Aurangabad. Vice Principal of our college and Head of the Department of Chemistry, Dr. Dilip Thube, Dr. Tukaram Thopte, Dr. Sambhaji Kale, Dr. Rahul Digikar, coordinator of this workshop, Professor S.D. Maske, Professor Anil Dhole, Professor Bausaib Narsale, and organizing committee of the workshop and all the participants. I warmly welcome you all in national workshop on roadmap, roadmap to competitive examination in chemical sciences. Let me first thank to the guest and eminent research person who are involved in national webinar or workshop by accepting our invitation. All of you know that competitive examination and chemistry is the backbone of today's education. So today's workshop is related to this topic. I am very happy to inform you that my college is continuously engaged in the curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular activities for all round development of the student and society. Up till now, the college organized total 68 conferences and seminars at national and international level on various issues. By considering the activities performed 
by the college the college staff and students are honored with various 114 awards the college has been accredited by nac third cycle with a grade and stood 101 to 150 rank band by national institutes uh, ranking framework in 2016-17 the college is awarded by best college award best magazine award best nss unit award best student welfare unit award best principal award best university teacher award best in a best uh, non teaching staff award best nss program officer award best student welfare officer award best nss volunteer award and many more award by savitrabai phule pune university pune and government of maharashtra our college is selected for unnat bharat abhiyan mhrd innovation club rusa bihok and dst fist during covid 19 period we already organized 10 international national and regional webinars workshops and seminars our prominent faculty developed more than 1350 e content so far today for this workshop more than 960 participants are registered and actually uh, available here around 500 from all over the india all of you know that the role of competitive examination in today's life competitive examination will enhance the skill of outstanding the application concept which is required in a broader context when we appear for examinations like GE, NEET, civil services and many other competitive examinations. Competitive examinations develop IQ, logical and analytical thinking and build a strong foundation for our career. A competitive examination is an examination where Candidates are ranked according to their grades or percentile and then top rankers are selected for further process. The journey of academic life is highly competitive and a bit complicated for the students to choose the right platform at the right moment. Selection of proper subjects for competitive examination is very important. Understanding the basics of general science can lead an aspirant to achieve good marks in the examinations. The subjects like physics, chemistry and biology are very important for the general understanding of the things around us. That's the reason why these subjects become even more vital for any competitive examination. Among the general science subject, chemistry is the most important. Recent analysis shows that the questions asked in the examination required the understanding of day-to-day -day science. In chemistry, the application part is more important for an examination point of view with some basic understanding of laws and definitions. I am sure that today's speaker will definitely explain how the chemistry subject is highly important for competitive examination and how to prepare for the examination through the chemistry or the chemical sciences. I am very thankful to my friend and Dean of Science faculty, Sayutubai Phule, Pune University, Pune Dr. Monohar Chaskar, who spent a lot of time and appreciate our efforts since a long time. Once again, welcome and thank you friends. Hope today's day always helpful for your 
career thank you very much thank you sir for the welcome address now we are going to start our technical session in the session first uh, we have the guest dr gajanan s rasinkar sir professor of chemistry shivaji university kolhapur friends all of you are familiar about the sir uh, dr gajanan rasinkar sir he is a professor in shivaji university kolhapur and his area of the research in some specialized topic that is ferrocene labeled molecule phase catalysis n heterocyclic carbon transition metal catalysis organic synthesis via green chemistry principle and functionalization of magnetic nanoparticles sir has completed his post graduation and phd degree from the same shivaji university kolhapur sir is guiding for net set examination since last 22 years and one of the important parties have to notice that sir has qualified net csir and set examination more than 10 times and on that guidance he has delivered more than 100 lectures every year for net set examination guidance sir has 22 years experience out of 5 years for uc and 17 years he is teaching for the post graduate classes under sir's guidance six students have completed their post or doctoral work and here three are pursuing for the phd sir has it published 60 research publications with 740 citations h index is 69 it index is 27 in a reputed international journal like catalysis letter australian journal of chemistry applied organometallic chemistry sir has also completed three major projects under ugc and dst with a cost more than 35 lakh he has also received many honors and awards to his credit the few are here the n scientist award as national conference on recent advances in chemical science bikaner shiv adarsh puraskar by shivaji university bharat vikas award by isr bhuneshwar in 2016 sir has also received a best poster presentation award in international conference organized by goa university and national conference at ycis satara with this uh, huge quality work and knowledge we have invited him for the today's workshop i heartily welcome dr rasinkar sir to deliver his talk and share the knowledge with us please sir doctor i will i like to invite dr rasinkar sir सर अनम्यूट करा तू मला प्लीज रासिनकर सर अनम्यूट करा प्लीज ओके 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 सो सर आय एम आय ऑडिबल सर यस यस सर सर आय एम व्हेरी सॉरी आय एक्चुअली जॉइंड लेट द रीजन इज दैट आय एम नॉट वेल फ्रॉम लास्ट 4 टू 5 डेज एंड i had a food poisoning before 4 to 5 days and uh, that is the reason there was a very immense weakness so i am delivering this talk from my house and uh, so maybe uh, there is likely to be a problem about network also the energy level of me is very less now but i am sure that with such a huge crowd which is my energy i am sure that within the next 45 minutes my sound will be very loud and i will be able to interact very properly sir uh, it's my 
privilege basically to deliver a talk in such a wonderful conference because this is a topic which is very different from the topics on which webinars are basically conducted uh, usually whenever webinars are conducted they are conducted with reference to the teachers with reference to the academicians and i am very happy that you have come with such a uh, great title so sir i would really like to uh, congratulate college for uh, having such a wonderful topic of the webinar i have been hearing the name of your college and all uh, the eminent people of your college sir though i am in kolhapur uh, we have been hearing the names of stalwarts of your college so even your college is 500 kilometers from kolhapur very often in our staff room we discuss about your college we discuss about professor thube dr thopte and about you principal sir so we are we are knowing that your college has been very actively uh, involved in all these activities so first of all i would really thank organizers for giving me this wonderful opportunity and uh, uh, what i will do is in my probably 45 minutes to 60 minutes time uh, i will try to uh, focus on the various techniques that can be used for preparation of competitive exams actually i thought that the lecture is at 10 o'clock i was confused basically and i was not ready but you know when you are working from your home there is no problem absolutely it is just wearing a coat and sitting on to this uh, sir i am very happy that dr uh, bapurao shingte is also uh, invited he is a really very great person I, i have seen and i am looking forward to hear to his lecture basically Uh, sir now when it comes to the students i hope i am audible sir and uh, uh, yes so when it comes to the competitive exams usually we basically talk about net and set exams so most of the times we talk about net and set exams and i have delivered thousands of talks uh, about net and set and i have seen students participating very actively sir i i am appointed as a professor of chemistry before 3 days and all of you know that it is one of the greatest honor to a teacher and when i was given the appointment of professor of chemistry honorable vice chancellor called me and he asked me so who is the one person about whom you would like to thank for getting this position of professor so i said obviously my students because my students but i always whenever i introspect my past of 20 years of my teaching i really feel that i have not really taught to my students my students have taught me because whenever we used to discuss in the class my students used to be very interactive they used to ask me the questions they used to actively participate and none of the student have objected in last 17 years nobody said that your lecture is very boring whatever i used to teach they used to learn quietly even if i used to tell them that valence of carbon is six sometimes because there is a slip of tongue and they even they used to accept that so i have really learned so many things from the students and what i have learned in my life is our students are very brilliant very talented unfortunately there is a problem of career counseling to them and therefore for a few minutes i would like to basically speak to them on this particular part and as per as competitive exams is concern i will definitely talk within 15 minutes i hope i am audible uh, yes sir yes sir okay thank you sir uh, sir is it i am am i loud enough to uh, that everybody can listen yeah yeah sure sir yes sir yes sir yes sir sir uh, the most important part that our students should learn is that they should have a goal setting in their mind because competitive exam is the second step the first step is a goal setting and in 90% cases of my students i have encountered that none of the students have set their goals even if they are at in the last semester of msc part 2 so i would like to ask the students that if you have decided your goal obviously what will happen is you can achieve that but in most of the cases there is a no goal set usually what we do is people go for net set some of them try for net set some of them try for companies and these are the only two options that students basically know one is net set and getting into the teaching job and second is going into the industries but i am a placement officer of shivaji university and i want to tell my students that look the world is changing the jobs which you are thinking now will not be available later on because the world is changing and you have to change your mindset you have to decide your aim accordingly 
if you keep all old things in your mind and if you try uh, preparing for them maybe you may come with disappointments so i just want to tell you one example i had been to bus stand i wanted to go to mumbai and one of my student had a booking counter there he started his booking counter he was msc so as soon as i went he was very happy he told me to sit and he booked my mumbai ticket and he did not take a single money from me because i am a teacher obviously he has given me that privilege and even i didn't force him to give the money so he called for tea to me and i was drinking tea now i told him that i am really very happy with your performance i am very happy that you started a business because somebody has to start a business if everybody wants to have a job how many jobs we can produce the population of india is 135 crores and to how many people you can give the job everybody wants job nobody wants to create job so i said look i am very happy that you started a your own office but i said look please change the business so he was so much disappointed he said sir you are my guru you came here i am so happy and suddenly you are saying that change the job i said look after 2 years nobody will come to your office because now people have started booking the tickets from the mobile phones so remember that he was very happy he said yes sir definitely i will think of changing the jobs i still remember i use whatsapp and facebook uh, very uh, regular on very regular basis and uh, i am connected with 1 lakh students you will be surprised to know that uh, maybe before 15 days i conducted one uh, session of webinar and the student of assam was showing me the bhutan border from back side showing the video so this is a bhutan border so i am very much connected with all the students one day i kept my uh, whatsapp status as now this is again a very important thing that i will really uh, focus after some part of my lecture that you should not absolutely use whatsapp and facebook you should minimize because that is the biggest obstacle in your career we are hijacked not i don't know about you but i am completely hijacked so my status was one person was taking shooting from helicopter and i wrote that it was the highest paid job in 2008 whom both helicopter driver that is pilot as well as the person who is shooting it was the highly paid job one of the highest paid jobs in 2008 jobless so remember that the jobs which you are thinking now i don't know whether they will be available or not automation is taking place so please when you think about your job when you think about competitive exams please think where there are more opportunities where you can get the job now two things i would basically start i i will really come to the competitive exam some of you must be saying sir we have not come here to listen to all these uh, words from your side we want you to tell us competitive exams i will definitely tell but i feel that these are very important because by telling these i know 5000 students who have qualified net and set so let me tell you the important thing uh, after completion of 20 years in my teaching field my mother gave me 5000 rupees and she told me to buy a dress so i was very happy because my mother is a retired teacher i took 5000 rupees and what my mother asked a single question she asked while giving the money she asked what you have learned in this 20 years of teaching what you have learned in last 20 years of teaching i said that look by coming into the teaching field i have become very obedient very sincere person and that is what i have really learned so i always feel that when you go when you choose a field please feel choose the field that should really make improvements in your site make choose the field where there is a possibility that you can meaning uh, exploit your career like anything because remember that sky is the aim for your career we are from chemistry and honorable principal sir had already said even the dean has already said that all the subjects are important i do not deny that uh, the chemistry is most important obviously i will not say that if you are thinking chemistry is the most important please do not feel because every subject is important on its place but remember that horizontally all the subjects are equal but when you consider vertically there are more opportunities in the chemistry and you know that i don't get into that that you every day starts with the chemistry and ends with the chemistry so remember that being chemist we have a huge opportunities to work out so number one when you select your career please select the career of your choice and this is the most important your choice is most important see if you take me because i enjoy teaching like anything when i enter into the class i teach for at least 3 hours we enjoy with the students and i am not feeling well because my students are not there and i am feeling like a heartbreak last 6 months i am not because i am habitual of living with them 
and the today's my sick condition is because i am not connected with my student that much uh, what relations i have with my students so i am dying when they will come into my class when i will interact with them so remember that when you choose a field it should be of your interest i always suggest the students because see when i was a chemistry teacher you know i read books so i qualified net and set for 20 times imagine how many books i have read i have very good habit of reading because my teacher said that today's readers are tomorrow's leaders and i considered that and i read books books i was reading one book called as ikigilai if you put that name in google i'm sure that you will come with the name in that <coughs> uh, book it is written that how you should choose your career how you should you choose your career so when you choose your career number one think about your skill sets think about your skill sets what are you strong in i was strong in net and set so i decided that yes i will make my career in net and set right so that is how you should make a career so think about your strong skill sets number two your strong skill sets should be important to the people so i am good in uh, dancing random dancing you know all of you as dance to the programs and i have that skill i can dance is it useful to the people no but if i am good in net set yes it is good to the students so number one look identify where you are strong and know whether that skill will be useful to the people and the third most important is remember that will people pay for you for that particular skill and that is how the career has to be developed it is not like blind so i still remember i went in 2013 in one of my msc part 2 class and i was asking about the students have you decided about your aim so that was a topic so 2013 i was in my class of to the uh, msc part 2 organic chemistry it was 16th march i still remember 2013 and i was uh, i asked this, this particular question to the students have you decided about your aim and as usual you know that you know i was like that nobody will raise the hand nobody will talk students never answer the question so nobody was an answering the question so uh, jaywan patil was my most uh, favorite student right he was very dynamic and dashing so i said jaywan have you decided about your aim and jaywan got up and jaywan said sir i will just translate that in marathi and again in english sir mi vahatya panya sarkay jail tikde jail meaning he is like a free flowing water he has not yet decided the aim whatever job he gets he will acquire that so remember aims are never set like this so i request you to read a book called as ikigilai you if you see my house it is full with complete books right read the books read the books that's so important what what we are doing nowadays we are just sitting using whatsapp using facebook if you see my whatsapp i will be active after before last 2 minutes that is my utility and i said my entire career was spoiled by whatsapp and facebook and i my mother in my childhood said that story no there was the ek story kutli hoti ek kaso ani sasa asto sasa fast pude jato ani mag kaso halu halu yala lagto ani sasa pude gela nantar jhopto एका ठिकाणी फार पुढे आले म्हणून आणि मग कासो पुढे निघून जातो इन अ सिमिलर वे वी केम व्हेरी आयड इन द लाईफ बट वेन सिन्स फेसबुक अँड व्हॉट्सअप केम माय करिअर वॉज स्पॉइल्ड रिअली बिकॉज यू स्पेंड सो मच ऑफ टाइम इन दॅट अँड आउटपुट इज नथिंग यू टेल मी हॅव यू लर्न एनिथिंग अबाउट व्हॉट्सअप अँड फेसबुक सो नंबर टू थिंग दॅट आय वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इज दॅट वेन यू डिसाईड युअर करिअर वॉट यू हॅव टू डू इज दोज ऑबस्टिकल्स दोज ऑबस्टिकल्स दॅट कम इन युअर वे आयडेंटिफाय दॅम okay so that is what i want to basically tell you then next thing that i would do deal with there is a something called as sort analysis a most important part what is the sort analysis strength weakness opportunities threats my dear friends if you have not done this you are on a very dangerous position remember that i should identify my strengths see i came from a very rural part of marathwada and we never spoke english we never spoke english and they, because of that my english was so weak when i used to go to number of places people used to laugh like anything i realized that i have to learn english i realized that i have to learn english so it was my biggest weakness so i went to classes and if i am able to speak properly today not very uh, grammatically proper but if i am not making blunders of mistakes because i, I identified my weakness there i identified my strength my strength is net set so i decided i will become expertise in net and set i delivered 1500 lectures i still remember my one lecture was in srinagar another lecture is was in kanyakumari and on my facebook i wrote kashmir to kanyakumari for net set lectures so my strength was 
my net set and my weakness was my english also when i used to deliver my talks in the class my students never participated so whenever i used to go into the class my students were never happy right so their energy levels were not good i realized there is a something problem in me so one day i asked my students yaar tell me why you are so nervous they said sir you are not teaching properly we are not having a chance to speak in the class why should be we happy so then i decided yes let let them participate in the class and now if you come to my class today i don't teach we learn i absolutely don't teach we learn and if i don't know i have delivered 1500 lectures in even iits if i don't know something i say i don't know and if i don't know it doesn't mean that i am creating a biggest mistake i am not a google remember so we started learning in the class students are really very happy you can ask my students they are very happy when they come into the class so that is the very important thing so strength will be related with your opportunities but weakness will create the threats in your career so please work out on that particular thing so if you want to go for competitive exam so which is a good competitive exam do you know that net and set are not the only two competitive exams there are hundreds of competitive exams competitive exams conducted by bar competitive exams conducted by uh, i have a list of those and i will definitely share with your group and if you don't know identify them go on google identify that so that is a, what is the most important thing that i feel that each one of you should do now once you do that so once you set your goal by using that ikigai technique you make your sort analysis the next thing is your goal is now set and now you have to identify people who can help you resources that will take you to that particular goal i have seen so many people i go for goal setting lectures i ask the students what is your aim so they they say i want to become a collector i want to become a collector i have never seen any student who said sir i will become collector they will say i want to become meaning they don't have a confidence once you set your aim do you know what thing becomes the thing becomes like this mobile this is a mobile on which there is a google map so if i put a location of anything in kollapur a lady starts speaking she says turn 100 meters left right 200 meters right 300 meters left and she takes you to the destination so remember once you set a target automatically way will come into the picture you will realize yes who are the people who will help me so if you are going to appear for competitive exams professor thube is there uh, my very dear friend dr thopti is there and dr bapu singh is there and everybody is there so your part we know that the students of your part because you will be surprised to know that i know that many of you are look watching me first time but i had been to your places and the most uh, what you should uh, okay dedicated and committed students are from your part i can say that uh, at any place even if you take to my in front of my students so identify the people who will help you approach them so if somebody is from bsc please ask me sir i am preparing for msc competitive exam so can you help me people don't speak they prepare on their own they choose the uh, road on their own so that should basically not happen so that is a very important thing and then now i uh, uh, sir i am uh, hope i am going good sir i'm uh, everybody is able to listen yes yes sir okay yes, sir, yes. sir uh, for 10 minutes again i will have a general speech and then go to the competitive exam sir how will it work to be sir otherwise it should not happen that we called you for some reason and you are now talking something different no problem sir no problem okay thank you sir thank you now what i will do is i will show you one small video of 7 minutes okay and 3 uh, minutes discussion okay and then i will uh, go to the competitive exams competitive exams i need only 15 minutes to master any competitive exams i can explain that within 15 minutes and remember that you will be expert within 15 minutes about any competitive exams because i have qualified it for 20 times if the government would not have stopped me today i would have qualified them for 100 times why i qualified it for 20 times is none of your business don't object it was my choice and i want to suggest all my youngsters if i have a opinion please do not object that opinion what we do is anybody talks immediately we start fighting right so you should respect everybody's decision okay they have different intentions of doing something that is how we should have because that is called as emotional quotient which is very important otherwise what is there my way or highway whatever i say is correct whatever you say is incorrect and that is how people start fighting i remember this is also very important part of your career development emotional quotient you should have a very high emotional quotient for your career now see i was reading about career uh, development 
how a career has to be chosen so i am very happy that when i was child my mother used to tell me the stories of chatrapati shivaji and it really every time whenever i still uh, am depressed or i get afraid i remember what she said about chatrapati shivaji when i don't study for a day i look at the dr baba saheb ambedkar's photograph and that gives me a motivation right so i was reading what students should do now so i had a story of facebook i had a story of facebook so facebook i, I i'm sure that facebook uh, who identi- who came with the facebook was uh, mark zuckerberg and his friends mark zuckerberg because now see in a corporate world we call it as a mark because now being a placement officer we have a habit of putting the name so mark zuckerberg had no intention of finding a facebook he was student like you me what is our aim msc chemistry tried for government job house car children settle <laughs> i'm sure you may be uh, right you may be abusing me but that is what we had mentality now let me tell you what mark did he was student of psychology and computer science so what happened because of that he was a student of psychology and computer science in psychology he realized people like to share people like to share i i'm sure that you like to share on facebook right whatsapp you share something your achievements and you want people to uh, give comments to that my friend if you put something on facebook and if i don't reply for within 2 minutes he will call me hey, why you are not replied at least put a like button so i have to go and put everybody likes that is a human mentality you know our vice chancellor also shares even you you know that governor shares everybody shares right so that is a human psychology so mark zuckerberg came to know that people like to share and because he was a student of computer science he knew that there can be a platform we can make such a platform where we can share our feelings and because of these two subjects he thought the most important word for you he thought out of box he thought out of box we don't nowadays think out of box we don't think out of box he thought out of box and he came with these two distinct things and started a platform when he started a platform they didn't have a money but they started a platform otherwise in our case will it become will it happen will it uh, give me a profit how much amount i will get from the first day whether i will get millions billions trillions that is what we basically think so they came with a they took the help of friends and they came with a facebook and mark zuckerberg i, I know he is one of the richest people on the earth and you know that his dressing style still today also he lives like uh, you live so that is what is needed today so can you join chemistry with something else and come with some venture because you know that government is giving so many startups so we have so many big problems tell me are aren't there problems there are so many problems we are facing problems and problems so identify the problem and our uh, guru my honorable vice chancellor he says rashankar if you want to become big identify the big problem then you will become big don't identify the small problems so remember that identify the big problems try can you join chemistry with some different subject talk with the people and last example i want to talk about is the google founders you know google founders larry page and his friend i exactly don't remember his name google founders when they started their google they did not had money to buy the servers they did not had money to buy the servers they went to their professor they asked the money and i don't know whether i am right or not they brought a server from the second hand market and they started with the google and you know where is google now that is what is really required so dear friends please get up start thinking out of box right work out don't get into this you know small pot right where you just thinks one or two ideas every one of is as strong as mark zuckerberg because god has given us a brain which works same efficiently for no matter whether it's a prime minister or chief minister or whether it is a nobel laureate right? or whether it is me or whether it is a thube sir so please do that so i hope i am sure that you will basically do all these things so this is what i wanted to tell you that you have to be very serious about your career you have to be very serious about your goals please set them make a plan place them in your house and remember that please read 
something other than your subject that is most important read something other than your subject one book for one week that should be your strategy one book for one week i read one book a day i read one book a day that should be your strategy okay so i hope uh, uh, the things are very clear to you so i am sure this will definitely give you a inspiration this will also give you a motivation and to work something uh, in a better way and remember that failures will be always there don't worry about the failures if you fail nothing will happen right and all the people have failed miserably so i have heard if you don't fail there are less chances that you will succeed so i was shocked to hear that but remember that if you fail don't worry take a risk in your life that is the last word that i want to speak to you swami vivekananda said take risks in your life because if you don't take risk there will be nothing good come in your hands so i'm sure that uh, these things will uh, definitely help you okay now coming to the competitive exams now what i will do is i will talk about the competitive exams how to prepare for competitive exams one thing i have learned one thing i have learned uh, why i have learned one thing is because i have uh, friends uh, in the various subjects psychology and uh, statistics now statistics is such a subject now which has the highest demand i know one thing today one very strong area very strong area where you can work in any field by considering that area is mapping is called as mapping now let me tell you the mapping of google when i open google last six days it is showing me flipkart at number 1 and you know that there was a mega sale and i i could not buy so many things so i wanted to buy i realize how this fellow knows that i want google uh, flipkart and also that taught me that these people are mapping you they see what websites you see at what time you see and analyzing that they will send you the websites of your interest i'm sure that even you must have also encountered the same thing so my dear student friends it is a mapping business going on now and this has huge career it is called as big data analytics now what is the concern of this with net and set or any competitive exam that is what i want to tell you please map any competitive exam map it map it so strongly that before going to the exam you should be able to say that yes i will definitely qualify this particular exam that much mapping that you should basically give but once when you do mapping then the dedication then the hard work and those are the things that in, i will not get into that but what is the mapping what is the mapping so i i will start with uh, this thing mapping uh, what is what do you mean by mapping mapping means if you are appearing for any competitive exams please collect old question papers collect old question papers if you are going for msc entrance please collect old question papers where do you get it is your business we will not help you you have to identify okay and everything you get now it is on google okay so get old question papers how many at least 3 to 4 years old question papers because these are required for mapping okay what you should do is i will tell you how i started my net set preparation and same analogy can be applied to competitive exams mpsc upsc and everywhere i still remember i was uh, preparing for uh, net and set I, during my msc so that time people said that it is very difficult and net set you cannot pass net set because it is very difficult that time google was not available i completed my msc in 1998 and then there somebody told me that if you uh, pass net and set you will become highly successful and i took that in my mind and my other friends they said no it is very difficult nobody will pass but i took that in my mind so i started preparing people said that it is impossible 1998 you know now people here now 2020 nobody says that it is impossible say that it is difficult so people said it is impossible but i took my entire education in sainis school satara and i was taught there that if people feel something difficult impossible it doesn't mean that it will be difficult for you impossible for you to take a chance they used to say take a chance so i decided to take a chance so first what i did i took the syllabus of net and set i am sure uh, dr thopte uh, professor thobe will definitely uh, uh, will understand what i want to say because that is not a syllabus now there were 34 chapters in the syllabus 
first chapter stereochemistry i was shocked one chapter stereochemistry here it was a one paper for uh, one entire year that time we didn't had semester second chapter was spectroscopy here we had one full paper for spectroscopy third chapter natural products here we had one full paper for natural products i realize net said people are saying it is impossible yes it is really impossible because we have 34 chapters as which are like 34 papers and that is why people are saying difficult and here during my msc days we used to study four papers in year so i just made a calculation because i have a habit of making a calculation of anything i said 34 chapters for uh, uh, net set syllabus four ch chapters per year so 34 chapters means i will need 10 years i will need 10 years so that is what i basically realized so what i thought is 34 chapter studying is a very very difficult task so i decided yes let us start at least now i was into one of the workshops on net and set I remember that i very often uh, attend large number of workshops specifically which are not from our subject but relevant to our subject because see until you don't come out of your uh, comfort zone you will not uh, realize what is going in the world okay so i went to one of the workshops in sulapur and uh, when i went to one of the workshops in sulapur uh, what happened was uh, the coordinator of netset came there so when the coordinator delivered the lecture he said do you have any question so i asked him one question i said sir there are 34 chapters in the syllabus of net set tell me how many days will it require to complete the entire syllabus he said at least you will require 12 years of preparation so but he said he holded my ear like this he said but why you want to study all the 34 chapters so that day i got a clue in the same workshop 1998 no google no phone mobile phones no whatsapp then i got one question paper and i was coming to my house from sulapur and in the bus i saw the question paper and i was surprised there were 34 questions in the paper and suddenly that struck in the mind and then i many times say that idea can change the life because that day i got an idea in the bus 34 chapters 34 questions i said is it the case that one question has one chapter has one question i immediately made the analysis don't be procrastinators what is the procrastinators no today no not i will not do it today i will do it tomorrow i did it in a bus and i realized that yes the things are very pretty clear 34 chapters 34 questions one chapter one question and one of the happiest moment of my life came when i read that attempt any 14 of the following so that day in the bus i decided i did not study 34 chapters i have to study only few how many 14 chapters but that was a very tight situation so no 14 chapters 14 because if i study 14 chapters i can solve 14 questions so i decided not 14 i will go for 18 so i decided i will go for 18 i studied only 18 chapters and i could qualify net and said and my friends who started with all the 34 chapters thoroughly they qualified in 2005 2006 but i qualified in 1998 itself so what i want to tell you is that we do map the question papers it becomes very very important and remember that mapping mapping will definitely help you a lot mapping will definitely help you a lot so i will just share my screen i will tell you how the things are to be done sir can you please uh, allow me to share my screen yes sir ah, yes sir okay sir you can share now okay okay sir yes thank you sir <coughs> so what you should do is i hope my screen is uh, it can be seen by everybody yeah yeah yes so what what you have to do is number 1 you have to get old question papers no matter whatever is the exam it is ddo get it ongc get it 
net set get it your msc entrance get it okay there are uh, these questions available so get the old question papers and what you have to do is i will tell you how you have to do okay so what you have to do is analyze the question paper analyze the question paper i am hold on hold on one minute i will just get the second powerpoint ppt which i did for students campus to corporate and uh, desktops in the meantime if students <laughs> have any question they can uh, basically ask or if you have any doubts pertaining to this you can definitely ask me All the students stops. can ask the questions in chat box. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Two minutes. I will just share. So ah, yes, uh, yes, sir. Now the screen is clear. Okay, I hope it is clear to everybody. Okay, so okay. Uh, what you need to do is collect old three to five years question paper. Okay, analyze them. The first analysis is quantitative analysis of question papers. What is this? Quantitative analysis of question papers. Sankhyatmak prashna patrikhen che vishleshan. Sankhyatmak. In this, how you should perform this is take any question paper. You can see here. I will go for a full slide. It will come. Okay. Right. So what you do is take any old question paper. Okay. This is question of uh, some subject. So the, read the question. In India, the structural adjustment program started in true sense in the year. Identify on which topic it belongs to. How could the topic worthy padle the mighty kara? So keep the syllabus near you. Identify to which topic this question belongs. For example, this belongs to unit number two. Write it unit number two with a pencil. Second question. Read the question again. Identify the topic. Like this, whatever questions are asked in your paper, you have to assign the Topic to that, you have to assign the topic to that. Okay. Now, once you do this, once you do this, what you have to do is make a table like this. Make a table like this. So, what is this table? Number of question table. December nineteen. How many questions were asked on unit one, two, three? Then June nineteen, December eighteen. This table will be still bigger. I hope you are understanding. मतलब प्रत्येक यूनिट वर्ती कितनी प्रश्न पढ़ लेते हैं तुम्हें लिहुन कार्य चेत जोड़ा हाथ टेबल मोटा ते उड़ाते जस्ट द बेनिफिशियल ओके बिगर द टेबल मोर बेनिफिशियल इट विल बी सो यूनिट नंबर वन हमारे क्वेश्चन्स आर आस्क यू ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड दैट देन सम क्वेश्चन्स यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड टू व्हिच टॉपिक इट बिलोंग्स टू गो टू एक्सपर्ट्स फॉर दैट ओके सो गेट ऑल दोस क्वेश्चन्स राइट राइट इट हियर ओके एंड वंस यू डू दिस व्हाट यू विल रियलाइज सी वंस यू डू दिस यू विल रियलाइज व्हाट इज द वेटेज टू ईच टॉपिक व्हाट इज द वेटेज टू ईच टॉपिक ओके सो Uh, i will just ask you one question okay i will just ask you one question tell me which are the topics on which more questions are asked uh, in chat section youtube i am not able to see but at least chat section i want few of you to write which are the topics on which the questions are asked more please interact in the chat section kutla topic kurte tumhala vartat ki nehmi prashna jasto vicharatat very good very good snail has given the answer we should interact the most important part of life you have to interact you have to talk you have to communicate that is a human psychology remember respond don't worry whether it's the right or wrong right very good okay so yes uh, okay i will tell you i'm very happy with your performance okay right so there are a few people from other side also but no biochemistry in chemistry is basically as stereochemistry i agree yes organometallic reagents ajit yes and uh, rahul coordination and uh, OMC, organometallic chemistry. Okay, nowadays you have your own short forms. Remember, don't use them. 
I'm an affiliate member of IUPC, and I know that only few <laughs> short forms have to be used. So, okay, so very good. I'm very happy that students are interacting. And the most important part of your life is you should interact, interact efficiently. Even that will take your career to very higher levels. Okay, have a habit of interacting. Don't worry what people are saying. Maharashtra le vidyarthana sang to ajibat vichar korna ka nirlejo ayla paije. To me kai vichar karta hai maaja badal. I am not caring. Me bhakta. I am trying to. put my ideas more efficiently in front of you mag majhe mitra thopde tanna kay vadto me asa kasa baslo i don't care i my job is work efficient ani jasti jasta changla performance daycha ani mala je vadto te mala bolaycha saksham pane bolaycha changla prakare bolaycha that should be your attitude of your life okay so very good all of you have given very nice answers ata kay hote baka okay uh, what what will happen i will tell you so i will share again the screen okay gajanan rashid right okay so आता तुम्हें जे मनला ना आई विल स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ऑल्सो आई नो दैट देर आर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम अदर स्टेट्स एंड दे आर वॉचिंग थ्रू यूट्यूब प्लीज बिकॉज आई एम फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र फ्यू सेंटेंसेस फॉर माई महाराष्ट्र इन स्टूडेंट्स दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एवरीथिंग आई विल ट्रांसलेट सो इट्स नॉट दैट आई एम स्पीकिंग इन मराठी का होता बगा तो बोला ये तुम्हें जे मना मे आता जे ठरले क्या नहीं तुम्हार मना दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रिजुडाइस तुम्हारा महत्व है प्रिजुडाइस वॉट इज अ प्रिजुडाइस डो नो वॉट इज अ प्रिजुडाइस अ कन्क्लूजन विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द थिंग Do you know what is a sir? Thubey sir, how much time I have, sir? Because Doctor Bapu is waiting. Yeah, you may take. <laughs> Bapu is still there. Hmm? Uh, no, Bapu, how much time should I take? Because he is a very uh, sir. I, I want students should not get bored and uh, so that they should uh, learn from him because his lecture would be most valuable. Otherwise, Bapu would be. Uh... You please continue. I will start with him. Okay, okay, sir. Sure, sir. Uh, sir, I need only fifteen minutes, sir. Not more than that. Okay. No problem. You please. Okay. Please. Yes, yes, sir. And you know that uh, for a teacher, it is very difficult that uh, once he starts speaking, it becomes very difficult to <laughs> finish. Okay. Uh, so I hope uh, Dr. Bapu is not uh, annoyed with my uh, this uh, stance. Okay. Please. Re- what is a prejudice? Prejudice means that if a thing goes to the mind, then after that, we have to build up the brain. For example, do you know what is the biggest prejudice? PG students of chemistry. Here, watching to my video, have. जब इधर का तमाज़ केमिस्ट्री में दे जन्स पीजी जाले तंचा मना में दे प्रोड्यूसर्स का है नेट सेट सोपे का आउटगेट तंने बिचारा ते मंथिल नेट सेट आउटगेट। तो आज दे, whether नेट सेट इजी और डिफिकल्ट, they will say difficult. Forget, I went to Pune in one of the college. There were thirty students. Okay, so I before I started, I say, look, tell me, what do you feel about नेट एंड सेट? Do you think that it is easy or difficult? As uh, routine students don't. इंटरैक्ट मैं तुम्हारे तो मैं आलो है बाबा कोल्हापुर नको वह ना कि तुम्हारा बोर के लिए तुम्हें जाना मेरा मेरा होपलेस मानूस आला का बोर कर तो प्लीज इंटरैक्ट सो दैट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो तीस तीस जन ने हाथ वर के ऑल द थर्टी रेज द हैंड एंड दैट इज अट सरप्राइजिंग इट इज एवरीवेर ऑल थर्टी सेड दट इज डिफिकल्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई आस्ट टू दे हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव एपेड अर्लियर फॉर नेट सेट नो वन ऑफ देम एपेड फॉर नेट सेट This is prejudice. मुझे एक दफ़न परीक्षण हो देता, नेट से आउट कर वाटना। अरे दिल्ली नंतर ठीक है ना? फ़ोन देने चाहो आउट कर आउट कर वाटना। मित्र मंदो कहीं दूसरा नंतर, आप लोग डिक्शनरी में देखोगे सीन, नेट से इतना समान अर्थी शब्द कुटला आउट कर, क्यों आउट कर ला समान अर्थी शब्द नेट से, आपन मंदर ते नेट से टे, What we have is usually we have a prejudice on this topic. So I will tell you what what you should do is analyze this and then decide whether there are more questions on stereochemistry and spectroscopy. Now I will tell you what happens if you don't do this. I know that seventy of seventy percent of the students said it is spectroscopy or stereochemistry. Okay, for them I want to tell you. One commerce student came to me. A commerce student there the magic day ala. He was preparing for four years. He was preparing for four years. So magic day ala. Four years that I required to do. He said, "Sir, I am preparing from last four years. I am not able." Frustrated. I am depressed. I am frustrated. I am depressed. Okay. So. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Rasim Khan, sir. Hello, sir. Rasim Khan, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Rasim Khan, sir. Hello, sir. सर तुम आवाज ये नहीं है
सर प्लीज हॅलो सर हा येस सर सर हा कधी तुमचा आवाज थोडा ब्रेक झाला होता आणि काही सूचना आहेत की इंग्लिश वापरा म्हणून सांगितलंय कारण ओडिशा गुजरात या राज्यामध्ये सर एक फोन आला होता आणि फोन आला की इंटरनेट डिस्कनेक्ट होत सर आणि मग तो काय होतो तुमच्याकडून तो मला अनम्यूट करा सर त्यामुळे मग मी तो फोन ऑफ केला ओके सर सो स्टुडंट केम टू मी ही वॉज फ्रॉम कॉमर्स अँड ही सेट आय एम प्रिपेरिंग फ्रॉम नेट अँड सेट फॉर लास्ट फोर इयर्स सो आय एम नॉट एबल टू पास सो काइंडली हेल्प मी सो आय सेट हॅव यू डन द क्वांटिटी टू अनालिस ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर तुम्ही क्वांटिटी टू अनालिसिस केले का प्रश्नपत्रिकेचं त्याला वाटलं मी तो कॉमर्सचा हा केम मी केमिस्ट्रीचा सो because he was from commerce i was from chemistry and what i said have you done the quantity to analysis of question paper the student said sir it is there in chemistry not in our subject tala vatle te aapla copper magnesium group 1 group 2 test i said that is not a uh, what uh, quantity to analysis so i said look take a question paper like this to every question write the unit name and then make a summary so have you done this he said no sir i said it is a very serious case please do it so next day he came okay and next day how he came he came with the analysis this was the analysis this was the analysis hey analysis ke lab baka ne to me what analysis you find unit number 1 there was a one question for 3 years this is a very old incidence unit number 2 there are three questions every year usually questions are consistent but you cannot give guarantee yeah? you have to do that ha surya ha jaitrat kela pahije tip majya varti vishwas thun chalnar nahi do it then you understand unit number 3 2 1 2 Unit number four, bara 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 prashna. So what do you find? Questions are consistent. At some place they vary, but they don't vary dramatically. Unit number five, unit number five, unit number five. Okay, I will take a pointer if I can take a pointer. Uh, okay, pointer options. Ha. See unit number five. Same unit number six. Few questions will vary. Thode se prashna badal na re. Pan moota ne. Ek dum zero purche orsi pandra prashna. Asa ho na re nae. So do this. So he came with this analysis. The student came with this analysis. Okay. Now, what is the second question I asked? Sir, among these 10 units, how many units are there? All the chemistry are not in this unit. He was lucky. There were only 10 units. I said, how many topics you have done? He said, 60% syllabus I have studied. Six topics I have done. So, I salute you. Because 60% topics you have studied. I said, it is a great thing. Because a person like me, studied only 27% syllabus, qualified net set for 20 times. And you, in spite of 60% times, 60% syllabus study, how you are not able to qualify? I said, please tell me which topics you have selected. So what he did was, he showed the next slide. What he said, so read number 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. These are the six topics which I have studied. Need paha, please see this carefully. What is the weightage on those six topics which is selected? Unit number one, unit number two, unit number three, unit number seven, unit number eight, unit number nine. There is no weightage at all. The six topics which has he has selected, there is a weightage of only eight questions. And the four topics which he has left, there is a weightage of remaining 42 questions. So that is the magic of quantitative analysis. And I teach spectroscopy, I teach stereochemistry, and I white water. This is your spectroscopy for NATE. This is your spectroscopy for NATE. The topics which you think hero here may be zero there. I'm not talking about hero zero. Because my lecture is, I want to tell you, see, no topic is hero, no topic is zero. Stereochemistry and spectroscopy are the best topics of the country. But when you come to the NATE and set, the total weightage on those topics is very less. And there are such topics about which you don't know. Which has the highest weightage? Do you know what is, which is the topic which with the highest weightage in the set? Organometallic chemistry. 44 questions. 44 marks. 44 marks. Kutla? Organometallic chemistry. Who has thought that organometallic chemistry would be a topic which will have this weightage? And stereo and spectro have two kinds of weightage. The weightage of stereo and spectro is to the lanthanides. Have two kinds of lanthanides with the weightage just there. Understand that. Understand that. And then select. Select. So this is what you have to do. I don't want to say that you have to do this topic. But if you have to do this topic, you have to do this topic. So you have to do this topic. So you have to do this topic. Stereo chemistry is a mission, you have a spectroscopy mission. You have a mission, you have a spectroscopy. But in the next step, you have to do this topic. Band, net, uh, stereo spectro, stereo spectro. So I hope you are understanding. Okay. Uh, so that is how you should do. Now, if you do this, see, for net and set, there are only four topics. If you study, you will qualify. 
फक्त चार टॉपिक आहे ते अभ्यास केले की तुम्ही पास होता देर आर ओनली फोर टॉपिक विचार दोस आता त्याच्या अगोदर मला हे विचार दिस स्टुडंट आय आज दिस स्टुडंट वाय यू चूज ऑन दिस टॉपिक्स काय म्हणते मला पहा तुम्ही हे टॉपिक्स का चूज केले तुम्हाला म्हणला सर युनिट वन टू थ्री इज माय एम कॉम स्पेशलायझेशन आमच्याकडे असंच आहे ना ऑर्गेनिक वाला ऑर्गेनिक बरोबर आहे ना आमच्याकडे तर कट्टरवाद आहे ऑर्गेनिक वाला इनऑर्गेनिकच्या विद्यार्थ्याकडे बघत सुद्धा नाही म्हणजे शी गोष्ट सी वेन युअर स्टुडंट वी टॉक राईट सी इट्स यु नो दॅट इट इज ऑलवेज अ हेल्दी एन्व्हायरमेंट इन टीचर्स अँड स्टुडंट सॉरी मी ना पास झालं तरी चालेल पण मी तो फिजिकलचा टॉपिक करणार नाही म्हणलं केला नाही तर पास होत नाही बाबा आणि नेसेसिटी इज अ मदर ऑफ इन्व्हेन्शन थर्मोडायनामिक्स आम्हाला करावंच लागलं देर वॉज नो ऑप्शन सो देर आर फोर टॉपिक्स विच यू शूड स्टडी ह्या विद्यार्थ्यांनी काय सांगितलं सर वन टू थ्री वॉज माय एम कॉम स्पेशलायझेशन युनिट नंबर सेव्हन सर हे मला लहानपणापासूनच आवडतं काही टॉपिक असतात ना आपल्याला आवडीचे युनिट नंबर एट सो इट इज अ न्यू टॉपिक विच इज जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अँड नो बडी हॅज नोस्ट आय वेन टू द इंटरनेट सॅट फॉर टू हंड्रेड आवर्स टू थाउजंड पेजेस प्रिंट आउट आय टूक अँड आय कॅन टेल विथ अ गॅरंटी दॅट इन महाराष्ट्र आय एम द ओनली स्टुडंट हू नोज युनिट नंबर एट त्याला म्हणलं अरे बाबा वेटेज तर किती त्या युनिट नंबर एट ला नो क्वेश्चन अँड युनिट नंबर नाईन नोट्स मिळाल्या म्हणून केलं This is a common psychology of most of the students. And remember that I have encountered one lakh student. I have spoken with all of them. Same psychology with most of the students. So please choose the topics wisely. Choose the topics wisely. If you understand some topics, have major weightage. Some topics are not major weightage. Some topics are not major weightage. If you understand some topics, have major weightage. And if you are not good at that, please do that. There is no option. Life may have no option. Do or die. Do that. Okay? Okay? coordination chemistry and amal adi what is a physical is very difficult but then when we started studying we started learning physical chemistry coordination chemistry kai skalat nahuta mala what is john taylor effect shirshasan kurun vachachi vel ali kutla bond elongate hoto kutla kami hoto pan then when we realize we see it's so beautiful right degenerate orbitals ek electron kami ek jaste how beautiful is that chemistry so remember that the most important part is you have to study all those topics no matter whether you like and don't like ani mala ek tumhala mahatvacha kalkalichi vinanti karaychi don't say that you like something or you don't like something see we all are brand ambassadors of chemistry i love chemistry than anything in the world when it comes to the physical world me majha valentines day la majhe vidyarthyane mala prashna vicharla sir aaj valentines day ani tumche kadun kais nahi aale me mhanle takto na sandhyakai 4 vasta ani sandhyakai 4 vasta me valentines day la takla i guess chemistry is another name for love i have really enjoyed studying chemistry मला केमिस्ट्रीचा अभ्यास आता मी आजारी ना मला तुम्ही पुस्तक काढून द्या मी आठ वाजेपर्यंत उठत नाही आय लव्ह केमिस्ट्री लाईक एनिथिंग आय रीड आय टॉक विथ बापू बापू ना विचारा तुम्ही एव्हरी डे वन आवर सम टॉपिक कम्स नो वी टॉक फॉर वन आवर आता झालं आमचं सगळं म्हणजे सेटलमेंट दॅट इज युअर पॅशन दॅट शुड बी युअर पॅशन टू अवर सब्जेक्ट आणि प्लीज डोंट हेट एक्झाम्स काही लोक म्हणतात ना कधी एकदा परीक्षा होते काय की सच पीपल विल नेव्हर सक्सेड तुम्हाला असं वाटलं का परीक्षा संपते तुम्हाला टेन्शन आलं पाहिजे so what should i do ata pariksha sampat ali ata mi kay karnar that should should be your affinity so uh, two important things i want to give you in a way ek enjoy your studies abhyas karta enjoy kara and number two make books your friends make books your friends i am sure you like your friends mitran legis apan karto ka na call tas aplyala pustak chemistry che friends karacha so the first part is quantitative analysis and here you have to choose the topics and now within 5 minutes i will wind up once you do this now the things are very clear chala tumhala kalla आमच्या स्टेरो केमिस्ट्री वाल्यांना कळलं की नाही कॉर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सो नाव दे विल गो फॉर कॉर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री दे विल गो फॉर अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री अँड इट विल हेल्प यू टू गिव्ह टाइम मॅनेजमेंट टाइम मॅनेजमेंट महत्वाची ना जर लँथ नाईट ला वीस प्रश्न असतील तर मी जास्त वेळ देईन ना त्याला दॅट इज वॉट यू टू अंडरस्टँड ओके आय होप द थिंग्स आर व्हेरी क्लिअर टू यू ना वन्स यू डू दिस वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट पॉईंट वॉट आय स्टार्टेड डुईंग आफ्टर दिस इज आय स्टार्टेड टेलिंग द स्टुडंट दॅट लुक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पास नेट अँड सेट देर आर फोर टॉपिक्स इन द केमिस्ट्री विच यू कॅन चूज अँड पास आणि तसे अनेक जण आहेत बरं का विद्यार्थी विच आर दोज वन कॉर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री अँड ऑर्गोनोमेट्रिक केमिस्ट्री फ्रॉम इनऑर्गेनिक क्वांटम केमिस्ट्री अँड थर्मोडायनामिक्स फ्रॉम फिजिकल अँड रिएक्शन्स अँड रिएजन्स एवढे जरी तुम्ही टॉपिक केले का चांगले तुम्ही पास होऊ शकता मला वाटतं की कुणी भारतातला याला ऑब्जेक्ट करणार नाही इवन इफ यू स्टडी दिस टॉपिक्स थारुली सो वॉट आय वॉन्ट टेल यू इज प्लीज तुम्ही ते मनामध्ये घेऊन बसू नका कुठल्या पण टॉपिकचा अभ्यास करताना त्याला वेळ द्या प्रॉपरली मेक अ टाइम मॅनेजमेंट दॅट यू गिव्ह इम्पॉर्टंट टू वेटेज टू दिस टॉपिक सो वन्स यू डू दिस दॅन द थिंग्स आर व्हेरी क्लिअर वॉट आय डिड आय सेड आय एम व्हेरी फ्रँक पर्सन अँड आय ऑलवेज टोल्ड माय स्टुडंट्स माय लुप होल्स म्हणजे कधी कधी माझ्याकडून महत्वाच्या चुका झाल्या आणि सी वेन अ टीचर मेक्स अ मिस्टेक स्टुडंट हॅज टू रिपेंट फॉर द लाईफ मी विद्यार्थ्यांना आधी काय सांगायचो प्लीज चूज दिस टॉपिक्स डोंट चूज दोज टॉपिक्स अँड दॅट वॉज अ ब्लंडर ऑफ मिस्टेक विच आय वॉज डुईंग ॲज अ टीचर मी अनेक लोकांना काय सांगायचो मी स्पेक्टोस्कोपी मी शिकवायचो आणि आय यू टू टेल स्टुडंट्स प्लीज 
गिव लेस वेटेज टू द स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वेन यू गो टू द नेट तो म्हणायचे का तुम्हाला नीट शिकवता येत नाही म्हणून असं सांगता का सर का तुम्हाला लेक्चर घ्यायचे नाही आय सेड नो देर इज नो वेटेज देन आय रिअलाइज दिस शुड नॉट बी द मेथड बिकॉज आय स्टार्टेड डुईंग दिस थाउजंड स्टुडंट स्टार्टेड क्वालिफाईंग कारण अगोदर लोकांच्या डोक्यात काय बसलं होतं स्पेक्ट्रोसिरो 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 आता लोकांना कळलं नाही ऑर्गनमेटलिक कॉर्डिनेशन ऑर्गनमेटलिक कॉर्डिनेशन ऑर्गनमेटलिक कॉर्डिनेशन त्याच्या पुढे काय कळलं जॅरेक्ट मिळवायचं असेल तर थर्मो क्वांटम थर्मो क्वांटम बरोबर आहे की नाही वी स्टार्टेड रिअलाइजिंग आणि तुम्हाला मला एक गोष्ट सांगायची देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड ऍज न्यूरो प्लास्टिसिटी अवर ब्रेन हॅज समथिंग कॉल्ड ऍज न्यूरो प्लास्टिसिटी वी कॅन लर्न एनिथिंग ऍट एनी मुमेंट मी आज सुद्धा इतिहासाचा अभ्यास करू शकतो तुम्ही पण कुठल्याही टॉपिकचा अभ्यास करू शकता सो प्लीज डोंट गेट इन टू दॅट नो दिस थिंग ती चौकडी बांधून ठेवू नका त्या भिंती बांधू नका मी हे जाय आणि मला ते करता येणार नाही सो इट स्टार्टेड द थिंग स्टार्टेड गोईंग गुड देन वॉट आय डीड वॉज आम्हाला ह्या बाबतीमध्ये काय होत होतं वॉट वी टू फाइंड इज स्टुडंट नेवर स्टडीड फ्यू टॉपिक्स सर्फेस केमिस्ट्री नो बोर्ड नो बडी वॉज स्टडी अँड फ्यू टॉपिक्स नो बडी वॉज स्टडी नॅचरल प्रोडक्ट्स कोणच अभ्यास करत नव्हतं देन आय सेड नो दिस इज नॉट अ गुड मेथड वी स्टार्टेड अ न्यू टेक्निक कॉल्ड ऍज मायक्रो क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अनालिसिस वॉट आय डीड इन मायक्रो क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अनालिसिस आय विल टेल यू वॉट आय डीड मायक्रो क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अनालिसिस इन मायक्रो क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अनालिसिस द सेम सर आय विल जस्ट टेक टेन मिनिट्स थुबे सर ओके ओके ना सर येस सर येस okay sir uh, what what we did was that is a quantitative analysis next we went for micro quantitative analysis ami kai kela micro quantitative analysis kela what we decided was let us identify the exact point to which question belongs to and therefore what i did we took a syllables for example this is a physics student okay so he, uh, she had condensed matter physics as the syllables so this unit was divided into various sub categories the syllabus la the unit art cha syllabus la ami veg vegya category madhe divide kela kasa kela एक सारखा सिलेबसला ए म्हटलं त्याच्या त्याच्यामधला दुसरा एक सारखा सिलेबसला बी म्हटलं त्याच्यापेक्षा एक सारख्या सिलेबसला सी म्हटलं म्हणजे फॉर एक्झाम्पल इफ आय एम स्टडिंग रिएजंट्स आणि खाली देर इज अ ह्यूज सिलेबस सो बिलो दॅट इट इज रिट इलेक्ट्रिक इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक रिएजंट्स पुट ए फॉर दॅट सब पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस न्युक्लोफिलिक रिएजंट्स पुट बी ओके ऑक्सिडेशन ऑक्सिडायझिंग रिएजंट्स पुट सी सो दॅट वी डीड अँड नेक्स्ट द सेम अनालिसिस वी डीड हाऊ वॉज दॅट अनालिसिस सी दिस वॉज युनिट नंबर दिस क्वेश्चन प्रिव्हियसली वी हॅव डिस्कस इट वॉज ऑन युनिट नंबर टू but now we identified it is on sub part b to unit number 2 varti je pan unit number 2 cha kutla bhaga varti hai to b part varti hai unit number 9 ha prashna unit number 9 varti magashi pan hota pan atta kalle ki it is on d part and you will be surprised ha jo question number 1 hai na in the last 5 years it was only on the unit b part so we said hey unit number 1 is very important most important and out of which b part is most important i am sure that each one of you will agree ki pratyek unit madhe ashe kai points asta jacha varti prashna vicharla jatoch right there are hero topics in every topic hero points in every topic so what we did we did like this we did it like this asha prakare ami the analysis kele baga he this is thoda sa faint hai this is uh, unit number 8 unit number 8 varti kai kela ami त्या सिलेबसला डिवाइड केलं वी डिवाइडेड द सिलेबस ऍज ए बी सी डी अँड देर वेर मेनी क्वेश्चन आस्ट हे पाय हे दोन हजार एकोणीस अठरा सतरा सोळा पंधरा लुक ऍट डेडिकेशन ऑफ दिस स्टुडंट किती केले तिने हे प्रॉपरली अँड वॉट शी फाउंड युनिट नंबर ए वरती जास्त प्रश्न असतात वॉट शी सेड सर आय विल स्टडी फॉर युनिट नंबर वन बट आय विल गिव्ह मोर एम्फेसिस ऑन युनिट पार्ट ए त्यातला ए पार्ट वरती मी जास्त अभ्यास करणार चांगला अभ्यास करणार आणि बाकीच्या पार्ट वरती मी थोडा थोडा अभ्यास करणार so we started this called as micro quantitative analysis and when you do this micro quantitative analysis you map the question paper tumhala maiti ka you will be surprised to know that in the net and set syllables if you consider these points there are 60 points in chemistry if you study those 60 points you will quickly qualify net and set quickly qualify net and set so it is just like this going into the shopping mall and you want bathing soap so you don't buy all the bathing soaps what do we do one or two bathing soaps you go to buy biscuits you buy one or two biscuits so that is how unit number 1 yes i will study all unit number 1 but these two points are most important unit number 2 it is important but these three points are most important like that you have to identify the bags of bag of most important points and you more focus on them te hakka chet barobar ki na aplyala harbhajan singh khelna nahi tar chalel pan tendulkar khelna pahije that should be your attitude so do this map every exam like this drdo so the gate net set every exam mpsc upsc do you know that one of the toppers of ias in uh, who took chemistry we gave the same uh, this uh, tricks to her and she ranked first in the country 
हे करायला पाहिजे आपल्याला सो दॅट इज हाऊ यू कलेक्ट द बॅग अँड ते प्राधान्याने अभ्यास करायचं चांगलं आणि मग बाकीच्याला आपण वेळ देऊ शकतो नाही तर काय होतं सगळ्याला जर आपण अभ्यास करायला लागलो यू स्टार्टेड गिव्हिंग इक्वल वेटेस्ट टू एव्हरी पॉईंट मेनी टाइम्स यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट सो प्लीज डू दॅट ओके अँड वन्स यू डू दिस वन मिनिट आय विल टेक दिस इज वन युनिट सो वॉट यू डू राईट द क्वेश्चन ऑन दोज युनिट त्या युनिट वरती त्या पॉईंट वरती जे प्रश्न पडलेत ना ते लिहून काढायचे एका खाली एक राईट डाऊन दोज क्वेश्चन आस्ट ऑन दोज पॉईंट्स आता इथे बघा छत्रपती शिवाजी महाराजांवरती प्रश्न होता त्यांचा सिलेबस होता तर त्याच्यावरती प्रश्न काय पडलाय डिस्क्राईब द गोल्ड ओर्नामेंट्स युज इन छत्रपती शिवाजी झिरा हे दुसरा प्रचित प्रश्न काय डिस्क्राईब द सिल्वर ओर्नामेंट्स युज इन छत्रपती शिवाजी झिरा तिसरा प्रचित काय पडलाय डिस्क्राईब द कॉपर ओर्नामेंट्स युज इन छत्रपती शिवाजी झिरा छत्रपतींचा अभ्यास करताना आपल्या डोक्यामध्ये कदाचित हे येणार नाही पण प्रश्न कशावरती पडलाय बहुतांश वेळा तो पडलाय कशावरती त्यांच्या ओर्नामेंट्स वरती सो यू शुड अंडरस्टँड वॉट इज द फोकस ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिमेंबर क्वेश्चन आर ऍप्लिकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आर प्रॉब्लेम बेस्ड आपलं हितेच छत्तीस चाकडाय तुम्ही फक्त थिरोटिकल अभ्यास करता डिस्क्राईब एक्सप्लेन एलॅबरेट वाचा आणि लिहा वाचा आणि लिहा हेच करायची सवय रिझनिंग ऍबिलिटी क्वेश्चन सॉल्व्हिंग ऍबिलिटी काहीच करत नाही आपण सो रिमेंबर क्वेश्चन आर ऍप्लिकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आर प्रॉब्लेम ओरिएंटेड वन्स यू राईट दिस क्वेश्चन याला भरपूर कागद लागतील आणि वन्स यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन दे विल बिकम युअर गाईड क्वेश्चन बिकम युअर गाईड फॉर नेट अँड सेट ते रस्ता दाखवतील अरे कॉर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्रीमध्ये काय प्रश्न आहे दे डोंट आस्क यू वॉट आर द ऍझम्शन ऑफ व्हीबीटी what they ask you what is the geometry of ni sin 4 minus 2 so they will show you a path and once you get a path you become master of question paper and then you can start your preparation once you start your preparation asa abhyas kara ki aplo record break karayla pahije i really enjoyed my studies asa abhyas kela ek dushi majhe aine majhe pustak rasta ho takle mala mali ved lagel so i took it as a compliment that much i used to study so make a preparation abhyas kara tharoli stay away from all those things which disturb your life so what is the most important conclusion i want to give you in this lecture is map the competitive exams map the quantitative exams map anything in the world map the quantitative exams and once you map the quantitative exams you become master of that competitive exams and dedicate yourself with highest of your efficiency it key efficiency in kaam kara be self motivated and do that and i'm sure that you definitely will be able to qualify net and set so i am very much thankful to you all the organizing committee professor thube sir and the principal of the college and the organizing committee members and all the dear students who listen to me right i was really not feeling well mala asa vatatas nahuti ki aplyala tevdi energy ete but i knew that now i am out of my sickness because you are my energy and at the department la i'm sure with your energy i will go to the department because students were just like god to me right and i'm very happy that you have given me this wonderful opportunity to be sir i will be highly uh, uh, i mean i will uh, i express my uh, utmost uh, gratitude to you sir for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir there are more than 300 participants and uh, on youtube channel also there are many more participants and they are listening to you they have listened you very eagerly thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir for your sparking charming energetic and uh, motivational for us on a actual road mapping to the competitive examination friends uh, sir has uh, specifically focused on how we are going to analyze uh, the question paper and the syllabus and sir has put forth a statistical analysis that is a uh, micro quantitative analysis for the uh, subject and uh, also he has focused on how we are going to use a special particular topic from the syllabus the study focus on more than that more on the right and then this is the actual uh, to qualify the different competitive examinations like net set get uh, i will thanks once again from on behalf of all college and all organizing committee thank you sir now uh, if any uh, students have this question you can uh, put it on chat box and we will make it after the second session thank you thank you very much now i will lower my charge to dr sarita please ma'am thank you sir i heartily welcome dr bapurao shinte the second research person of this second session he is a that is a professor in department of chemistry dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad his idea of students centricity have assured in several development 
towards strengthening the student's employability by cracking NET and SET examination from 2008 to until sir had joined the department of chemistry dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university in the year 2008 and from that we observed that the graph of net set and gate examination result going to be increased in department of chemistry after he joining in the department dr bapurao shinde has completed his phd from national chemical laboratory savitri university of pune pune sir has 18 years of teaching experience and 12 years of sorry 18 years of research experience and 12 years of teaching experience sir has received different honors and awards to his credit sir has been awarded iscb best teacher award from indian society of chemist and biologist lucknow in the year 2018 sir is a brand ambassador of bentham science publisher in the year 2018 19 and 2021 he is a research professor he got a research professor award in the year 2017 from dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad sir also received ideal teacher award in the year 2014 from dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad sir also got indo us research fellowship award in the year 2013 sir is also a recipient of shikshak pratibha puraskar in the year 2012 from dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university aurangabad his area of research specialization is that is synthesis of bioactive compounds and new synthetic methodologies methodologies related to steroids sir is a, a resource person of 65 national and international conferences sir has also delivered 70 guest lecture from different universities colleges he is a chair person of 16 seminars and conferences sir is also working as a organizing member for seminars and conferences sir also worked as dos in chemistry member from swami ramananda tirtha marathwada university nanded YC Institute of Science Satara and KBP College Washi sir also worked as a deputy coordinator of UGC SAP DRS level 1 sir has guided five research students and three students are pursuing their phd under his guidance sir is having that is a different curricular activities in that he is a editor of special issue organic chemistry current research editorial board member of organic chemistry current research isrn organic chemistry journal of new development in chemistry he is also academic editor of international research journal of pure and applied chemistry he is also advisory board member of international journal of chemical research sir is also a reviewer of 40 journals including nature scientific reports journal of medicinal chemistry european journal of medicinal chemistry letters chinese journal of chemistry and much more there are more than 170 research article to his credit in that 110 international research article and having citation 2708 yes index 29 and i10 index 76 with this huge quality work and this all this research background all academic activities we have invited him for the that is a webinar workshop road map to competitive examination in chemical science i heartily welcome dr bapurao shinte to deliver his talk thank you sir may i request dr bapurao shinte sir sir please unmute yourself yeah <clears throat> thank you very good morning to one and all good morning sir good morning uh, i am visible properly yes sir okay uh, thank you very much for a nice introduction dr kunlikar madam it's a great pleasure and honor to me to be a part of this wonderful workshop organized by New Arts, Commerce and Science College, Parnell, 
where the participants from all over the India, not only from the India, but also from abroad. Just I have seen some of the participants from China as well. Uh, I'm very much thankful to Dr. Chaskar Sir, Dean, Faculty of Science and Technology, SPPU Pune, for his wonderful talk on competitive examinations. I'm also thankful to Principal Dr. Ahir Sir for giving me an opportunity to share my views regarding these competitive examinations, as well as our mentor, our senior colleague, uh, Dr. Thube Sir, uh, head Department of Chemistry, IQC coordinator, as well as faculty members from the, uh, this particular college, as well as participants. And the most important thing, just we have listened uh, young dynamic personalities from the India. Dr. Rashankar, sir, he's a great motivator of NET set eight examination. Just before going to talk about uh, my views in terms of competitive examinations, just I will give some breakfast to you. As Chaskar sir told that, first of all, you have to understand the fundamentals of the chemistry. That is important because once you understand fundamentals, then only you can apply. And the most important thing, Principal Ahir sir has mentioned about you have to apply your analytical mind. That is important thing. And the third thing, as chemistry is a central science, central subject, without chemistry, we can't learn physics, mathematics, biology, as well. As Rachankar sir mentioned that you have to fix, you have to finalize your goal or objectives today itself. Again, he has highlighted SWOT analysis. Again, he, in his general talk, how to plan for competitive examination. Planning is important. Mapping is important. And while doing the mapping of every subject, how to analyze your curriculum out of 34 chapters, which chapters we have to give weightage, that is important. As many more people, just I have seen through chat box, they are giving the answer for his question, which topic have great um, more credit. Many more people, they have given stereochemistry, spectroscopy, but as rightly mentioned by Russian Kurtzer, there is a less weightage for spectroscopy as well as stereochemistry. And more weightage is given to the reaction mechanism in organic chemistry, especially organometallic chemistry. Okay, today I have chosen the topic, most important topic, mastering organic chemistry and approach is a problem solving approach. And uh, I have given one equation to you over here, RQ is equal to OS. Meantime, you can think about this uh, equation. To become a master, not theoretically, but practically, how to become a master. Master in any subject, in organic chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, or in any subject. What are the important aspects for becoming master? Master in, or, uh, master in your specific subject. Just, you can have one slide, meantime I can do to you, see how one aldehyde, just I'm touching directly to the chemistry because Rachankar sir has given a lot of things to you. Uh, he has motivated a lot. See, in this particular slide, one slide I can talk for a year. On this particular slide, I can talk for a year, but just I am providing you one aldehyde, one aromatic aldehyde can be used for many more reactions. Many more reactions. Just I have taken the representative reactions over here. It starts from Hans, Darzan, Dekin, Abramo, Henry, Manich, Grignard, Beckman, Bettis, Blazen, Beginelli, then uh, Benzen, Woody, Passerni, Reformatsky, Witty. Many more reactions are there. Just I'm taking the names of those reactions. Over here, one idea have many applications, many applications in synthetic organic chemistry. Okay, then as we are talking about how to become a master in any subject, how to become master, it may be of chemistry, it may be of physics, it may be of life sciences, 
many more participants they they have joined from other disciplines as well as well from life sciences also for them also just i am providing something to you how to become master in any subject just before talking about how to become master really we have to give credit to those people just we are reading chemistry of those people just we are reading just we are understanding the chemistry the people they have done in the 20th century just in the 20th century or before that one also and these are the great stalwarts in in the chemistry especially i have chosen from the organic chemistry only as every one is a studying their chemistry but no one knows who is that for first person we do consider he is the grandfather of organic chemistry grandfather this is the first photograph first pro- photograph just meantime you can think who is this first person we have given lot of things to us he is the person who has synthesized the cholesterol in the year of 1928 at that time no nmr spectroscopy no mass spectroscopy only ir spectroscopy was here and that time he has uh, determined the structure of cholesterol very well very well how many chiral centers are there he has uh, discovered in the year of 1928 and he has published uh, the first output in the form of journal of american chemical society he is nothing but robert b woodward salute to him first and then we will start our presentation okay the next person just a uh, few seconds i will take over here again he is a grandfather just we are reading his chemistry and he has uh, given to us lot of people from the india who have pursued their phd as well as postdoc postdoc with him he is nothing but great nobel laureate elias james corey ej corey we are studying his chemistry so many named reactions on his credit so many reagents he has discovered uh, uh, by elias james corey he has a synthesized a several compound several natural product then the third person we are studying his reactions no doubt kb sharpless sharpless asymmetric hypoxylation sharpless dihydroxylation sharpless asymmetric uh, dihydroxylation sharpless amino di- amino hydroxylation as well then this person these th- these three see this one is grignard victor grignard as we are studying grignard reaction as Uh, rashan karsan mentioned that organometallic chemistry is the most important yes organometallic chemistry is the most important part for any competitive examination he is a grignard he is a george ola he is a uh, uh, i think he is a uh, witty george witty these all are nobel laureates from the chemistry organic chemistry then not only those but also uh, some of the great personalities from the organic chemistry we have received a nobel prize for their great contribution in organic chemistry even though we are referring their books but we are studying their reactions but we don't know who is that personality because they are the grandfather they are the fathers they are the parents of us because we have decided chemistry is our future chemistry is our future he is a person robert grubbs grubbs metathesis we are studying and uh, in the year of 2007 i got an opportunity to meet him Uh, at ncl pune then see in the year of 2010 around this is a suzuki as we are studying suzuki reaction hake reaction then uh, negeshi coupling these three people they have received a nobel prize in the year of 2013 and uh, the nobel prize again goes for their contributions in organometallic chemistry then not only nobel winners but i have taken over here other nobel uh, other people uh, where their contribution is too much is nothing but barium prost again his work is related to natural product chemistry as well as organometallic he is the person just we are reading his books so many big books but we don't know who is that person he is a francis a carry then again the person kesin nikolov as we are studying so many synthesis of kesin nikolov he wrote one of the excellent book that is molecules that change the world not only molecules that change the world but he has written several books classics the total synthesis part 1 part 2 3 and so many things just we are reading then 
not only these people, but H.C. Brown, just uh, I can take the name, H.C. Brown, again, organoboron chemistry. Okay, then D.H. Uh, Barton, D.H. R. Barton, Barton's chemistry, we are studying Barton reaction. So these are the Nobel laureates, and uh, I do consider from the India, this is a great personality from the India who has done a lot of chemistry, a lot of synthetic organic chemistry. Uh, original synthetic organic chemistry is nothing but uh, Gore and Mehta, sir. Salute to them first, and then we will start our presentation. As I told about that, uh, our point is how to become a master in organic chemistry. And uh, as per my consideration, I have decided to talk about some of the points which I have considered. There are four important points which, which through that, those four important points, we can become master in organic chemistry. But if you consider individually, by considering individually, we cannot become master. And see the first point, first point as, as uh, Rashankar sir has mentioned about the importance of books, importance of books as we have seen from his home, the wonderful library of uh, he, uh, books from various subjects just we have seen. See, if you become master, if you become master in organic chemistry, you should have a library of books. Not only library of books, but you should read all those books. In earlier days, in, in the last decade, we can call it last decade or in the last century, uh, 20th century, last decade, we used to use these books only for the preparation of organic chemistry. That is Peter Sykes, then, then Jerry March books, then uh, the, these two books came in the market, Francis A. Carey, Part A, Part B, uh, then Mars Advanced Organic Chemistry. And uh, in, in uh, this 21st century, this book came in the market, and which is the most important book. See, first important point to become a master in organic chemistry, you have to read many books, quality books, as well as a reference book. Reading a book is important to become a master. See, this helps in qualifying competitive examinations. Not only these books, but uh, you will get a library of books which are required in qualifying NET, SET, GATE, as well as the UPSC. See, just I am showing to you cover pages of those great books of organic chemistry. This is the organic synthesis by M.B. Smith, third edition. This is the fourth edition. This is the Carothers book for the preparation of organic chemistry. Then most important book in the last decade, everyone is using this book for NET, SET, as well as the gate examinations written by NANS. This is the first edition and this is the second edition now available in the market. Then, as we are preparing for various named reactions for NET, SET, gate examination, but your preparation, if you have followed some quality books, then your preparation will be excellent. That's why I'm showing some of the representative books for net set and gate preparation. See, the book written by the Mundi, name, name reactions and reagents in organic synthesis. Few reagents are incorporated over there. Then the book written by Jijak Lee on name reactions, general name reactions are there, which are very much important. Then again, Jijak Lee wrote three books uh, on name reactions, especially for heterocyclic chemistry. See, name reactions on heterocyclic chemistry, part one, part two is there. And uh, another one is name reactions for functional group transformation. At least you should have a library of such type of books. If we are buying mobile of cost more than 1500, before buying those mobiles, first of all, you should buy such a wonderful books. You should have such type of books in your life. These IU books for on name reactions just I have shown and recent book came in the market which is a very much important, written by the Kurti, again, he's a student of P.J. Kore, on the strategic applications of named reactions in organic synthesis. See, on named reactions, just these books I have given over here, then I, I am coming towards the most important books written by the great Nobel laureate E.J. Kore on logic of chemical synthesis, that is a retrosynthetic analysis uh, we used to use these books, then you will understand so many reagents from those books. And uh, routinely, we are using the book written by uh, Stuart Warren, who is uh, just recently passed away at the age of 94. See, uh, the book written by him, Organic Synthesis, Retrosynthetic Approach or Disconnection Approach, as well as uh, 
the the other books written by the warren as well on organic synthesis and see many times students are asking questions sir we have a uh, books on name reactions as well as uh, for reaction mechanism but we don't have book of uh, reagents just many times we are suggesting to the students just follow carother book just follow jerry march just follow cladden just follow carry part a part b then uh, some of the reagents are available in the book of mundi then just i am suggesting to you those who are the principals of particular college belongs to chemistry those who are heading the department of chemistry at least in their library in their library college library the series of these books written by fizer and fizer reagents for organic synthesis total 22 volumes are there if you have this 22 volumes then you are rich in organic chemistry i can call it okay most important point is that you should read a quality book then only you will become a master in organic chemistry but by reading without understanding uh, understanding you will not become a master in organic chemistry that's why that's why this is the first point i used to consider for becoming a master of organic chemistry then second important point i do consider you have to listen the lectures delivered by the experts in particular subject that is important okay if you are reading the books without listening lectures delivered by the expert people like dr rashankar sir just i am giving the example dr rashankar sir has delivered so many talks all over the india see not only dr rashankar sir but many more people from the pune region as well i i used to listen the talks delivered by the professor aryas mali sir who is a great personality of organic chemistry dr dhawale professor dhawale sir professor wadia sir professor khanna sir from nagar itself professor gobde sir from nashik itself see and many more people those who are highly expert uh, in their particular subjects and my suggestion to all of you budding uh, students of chemistry you should listen the lectures delivered by the expert people then only you will become a master one of the point i used to consider in becoming a master you have to listen the lectures delivered by the expert people then the third point third and most important point over here even though you have read the quality books written by the quality teachers then you have listened the lectures then most important point you have to prepare notes by yourself not by other others usually what up, what happens in india particularly in maharashtra those who are preparing for net and set examination someone is preparing notes and just we are making xerox of those notes that is not a good habit for you this is my personal suggestion you have to prepare notes by yourself because you will understand so many things uh, while preparing the notes preparing your notes for yourself for getting success in a competitive examination this is the third suggestion to you and the most important suggestion again see whatever theory we have studied in the classroom you can have a practice in the laboratory and many more uh, many more experiments we are doing from 11th standard to uh, up to pg level many more experiments and while doing the experiments you have to have a interest in doing those experiments why this procedure is given over there see just procedure is provided and accordingly we are adding the chemicals and just we are doing the observation similar type of observation can be made by the lab assistant as well as the lab attendant even though they have passed only 10th or 12th standard but we are the students of msc chemistry we are not thinking about why this much amount of that particular catalyst is added over that particular reaction see you have to do many more experiments then you will uh, you will uh, your mind will become analytical that is the important thing see these four points are very much important in mastering organic chemistry okay not only these four points first point just we have considered reading a quality books then second important point is listening the lectures delivered by the experts in that particular subject and third important point preparing notes for becoming master and fourth one you have to do many more experiments in the laboratory okay then next important point as we are talking about the organic chemistry and just i am providing some tips for mastering organic chemistry 
okay tips for mastering organic chemistry as i have chosen the topic mastering organic chemistry leading towards the qualifying net and set examination see organic chemistry is a is a subject of long movie it is a subject of long movie every character have some side story and if you jump in between you will feel lost many times students are leaving that organic chemistry if in first semester they are preparing very well and for second semester they are not preparing organic chemistry and then again in the third semester they are thinking about organic chemistry see me it means that you have lost so many things that's why every character have some side story and if you jump in between you will feel lost but if you follow the plot from the start it all makes sense that's why continuation is important in organic chemistry even though if you have studied some point in 11th standard again you have to remember in the last semester of msc that is important see in the last semester of msc even though we have studied unknown condensation in 11th standard you have to remember again in msc fourth semester see that is uh, important task here i have considered some points again to become a master in organic chemistry learn about structure that is important drawing up structure from name if you draw the structures from the name that, that is important how to identify number of bonds that is also important then see in earlier days we used to write the structure of any compound we used to write ch3 ch2 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 ch3 for alkenes but now you have to learn how to draw bond line diagram then most important point if you have a structure of any molecule any organic compound then you have to think about the reactivity of that particular compound whether that substrate is a electrophilic or nucleophilic accordingly you have to decide the reactivity as per this presence of presence of some substituents on that particular compound that's why reactivity of any compound is important that that's why you have to learn the reactivity of compound okay this is the first point second point build a strong foundation for organic chemistry because organic chemistry is a like a pyramid it is like a pyramid the top will collapse without a strong base that's why your base should be strong at 11th standard 12th standard that time you have to have a strong base and that, that strong base you can apply for your future career as well even see most important point i have given here even if you think you have no time go back to introduction go back to introduction again you have to go back to 11th standard 12th standard bsc first year second year third year and early chapters and spend some time on those chapters even though if you are preparing for net and set examination you have to read ncert book those who have uh, those you have studied at 11th standard that is important because that is the foundation that's why chaskar sir has given nice message to you first of all you have to have a fundamentals then you will likely be surprised how much better you will grasp the hard material once you completely understand the easy bit that's why first of all you have to read the books of 11th standard 12th standard bsc first year second year third year and then then for msc for uh, uh, first semester okay then as rightly mentioned by uh, uh, rashinkar sir prepare your mind maps that is important as organic chemistry is dealing with some reagents that is important organic chemistry is nothing but functional group interconvergence you have to convert one functional group into another functional group by using some reagent and reagent plays an important role in understanding organic chemistry okay as i am defining organic chemistry organic chemistry is nothing but dealing with functional group by using some oxidizing reagent reducing reagent rehydrating agents as well as you should know the reactivity of those reagents then my suggestion to you you have to prepare the reagents from quality books from standard reference books that is important and see make a list of those reagents and remember those reagents many times make a chart of specific class of compound that is important if you don't have the chart then you will forget forever the most important thing is to do it by yourself not by others that is important you have to do yourself not by others if teacher have prepared some chart 
don't make xerox of that chart you have to prepare yourself that kind of chart okay then don't forget acid base reactions for understanding organic chemistry even though in organic chemistry we don't consider physical chemistry but if you have a strong physical chemistry background then only you will understand uh, organic chemistry more than half of organic chemistry is based around or acid base reaction that's why first of all you should know acid and base then you should have a strong background of electrophile and nucleophile which center is a uh, electrophilic which center is the nucleophilic means reactivity of that particular reagent you should know then the most gift given by the levis most important gift is given by the levis that is levis concept of acids and bases that concept you have to apply in the determining the reactivity of each and every reagent each and every substrate that's important that's why don't forget acid base reactions then i do consider the another tip for you focus on understanding not on memorization because organic chemistry is somewhat different than other subjects memorization is overall poor strategy that is resorted with the people haven't planned ahead sufficiently and how to cram the night before the exam see many times people are remembering remember memorizing memorizing the structure how will how they will remember the structures of billions trillions of organic compounds it's a difficult task that's why you have to understand the structures of the organic compounds that is important and see in some certain courses you have to memorize no doubt nomenclature terms names of the reagents names of the compounds functional groups etc but not all organic chemistry okay this is my uh, suggestion to you then see organic chemistry is a subject of group discussion without group discussion one cannot prepare for competitive examination that's why you should have some study partners you should do some group discussion that's why see the impact of group discussion you will be surprised at what you learn when you have to explain something to others if you have prepared carother for very well you have to discuss that carother with 100 people then you will not forget that carother for ever see while preparing net and set examination in the year of 1999 i have discussed that carother for more than 100 times that that's why i never forget carother because that was the only book for the preparation of net and set examination in that time see don't ever feel like you need to tackle organic chemistry by yourself see many students they are preparing themselves that is not possible that's why group discussion you have to discuss the chemistry amongst your colleagues amongst your friends of chemistry as well as from physics from biology as well getting together to do work with your colleagues is a fantastic idea that's why there is a one quotation coming together is a beginning keeping together is a progress and working together is a success this is a mantra given by henry ford and this is a mantra for qualifying competitive examinations like net set and gate examination okay then as my topic is related to problem solving approach and the last tip i am providing to you work with problems even though we are preparing some chapter from morrison boy at bsc first year second year or third year level but we are not solving the problems given at the end of each and every topic over there for its point book excellent book for solving such type of beautiful problems at early stage of understanding organic chemistry that's why learning organic chemistry requires problem practice if you have a problem practice then only you will learn organic chemistry you should attempt questions from reference books and he hit the uh, past question papers just uh, rightly mentioned by dr rajendra sir at least you have to go through the question papers of last three years last three years what type of questions they have asked and accordingly you have to solve those question papers spend all extra time all extra time you saved from the theory for organic chemistry into solving problems whenever you are getting the time you have to solve many more problems first of all you have to understand the chemistry understand the concept and once understanding the concept then you can solve the problems and to understand the concept you have to solve many more problems that's why so work the problems work the problems work the problems that is last tip that those are seven tips and four points 
which we have considered for becoming a master. And the most important point that is important while becoming master in organic chemistry is nothing but problem solving. Problem solving approach is important. Even though many times we are listening the concept, but we are not solving the problems. That's why problem solving is important. See, just I'm showing to you one of the picture and many places, this is the picture from city place, but at many villages, they may have seen such type of wonderful picture. See, grindstone sharpens knives. Grindstone sharpens knives, problem solving sharpens minds. This is the quotation somewhere I have seen in the book of organic chemistry. Grindstone sharpens knives, problem solving sharpens minds. This is the message I want to pass you. And uh, to have a justice to this problem solving approach, it's just I'm showing to you one of the great uh, Nobel laureate, great personalities from the physics. As we are studying this equation, particularly E is equal to mc square given by the Einstein. See, what we are doing nowadays, just we are putting the values in that particular equation and we are solving the problems. Okay, without understanding the equation, how that equation has came. How that equation has came. It doesn't come in single night or single day. It requires many more days. E is equal to mc square. Not only this equation, this RNS equation, as everyone knows, everyone has studied, this RNS equation uh, for understanding uh, kinetics, uh, chemical kinetics topic, not only that one blank has given this E is equal to H nu or E is equal to HC upon lambda. Just if two values are given, then just we are putting, uh, we are calculating another value by with the help of calculator. But if you go through the basics of these equations, how that equation has came. And uh, you will think in organic chemistry, how it, uh, there, there are no equations. But in organic chemistry, so many equations are there. So many equations. Just you will see. As organic chemistry is a subject of equation, I do consider subject of equation. Even though in mathematics there are no more equations, billions, trillions of equations in organic chemistry. See, as I have given so many equations uh, discovered by the other uh, people's great Nobel laureates, and uh, he's the person for us. He is a Nobel laureate. He is a Padma Vibhushan. Polymer curve to patent curve, former director general CSIR, as well as the director, former director of uh, India's premier institution, National Chemical Laboratory, Pune, respected Raghunath Masharkar, sir. It is one of the speech uh, in uh, Marathi Sahitya Sammelan held at Pune, I think in the year of 2013, 14, something. In his speech, one of the great personality, Dr. Sudhir Gadgir, is taking one interview in Marathi. Uh, he's talking in Marathi, and at some point, he has raised one question in Marathi, just uh, in Marathi. I used to talk in Marathi. Apla Shikshana Baddhan Madhkai. And he's giving answers in Marathi. Apla Shikshana Baddhan Madhkai. What is your opinion about education? See, that discussion was in Marathi. And he has given one equation to us, I used to consider. And every time I'm giving this equation to the budding students of chemistry as well as physics or many more subjects. We, the learners of chemistry, we are thinking about this equation E is equal to F. E, e stands for energy. Usually we are thinking like that way. E stands for energy and F stands for force. But the discussion was on education. The discussion was on Shikshan. E stands for education. T. E stands for education and F stands for future. If you have taken proper education, your future will be bright. And with this equation, with this equation, the interview was uh, displayed in the night on some uh, TV channel around 8.30 and uh, I have listened that interview particularly and uh, thought why not to have some equation for our student as well. Accordingly, the person has thought why not to have some another equation and uh, whole night after spending whole night came to the conclusion why not to have uh, this particular equation R cube is equal to OS. As the learner of organic chemistry, 
There is no any equation for organic chemistry papers like this equation. But R cube is equal to O S. Do you think about these three R R as many students in chat box they can write, but uh, without spending some time, I will go straight away. O S stands for organic synthesis. And uh, here we have decided how to become master in organic synthesis, how to become master in organic chemistry. Okay, OS stands for organic synthesis. Three R are there. First R stands for reactions, named reactions. And there are n number of named reactions are there. I have gone through ten thousand named reactions. Ten thousand named reactions. I don't know more than ten thousand reactions, but but I have seen. At least ten thousand reactions. First, named reactions. Second one, named react rearrangements are there. Just we are studying up to MSc second year. Just we are studying two hundred, three hundred named reactions, or uh, and some fifty, fifty-five named rearrangements, up to uh, up to MSc fourth semester. But there are more than five hundred named rearrangements. See the third R. First R, re reactions. Second R. Re uh, rearrangement and third R is related to reagent and there is no any limit for reagent. There is no limit. See, 22 volumes are related to reagent and those volumes are in the year of 2008. 22 volumes, whatever new reagents are there, they have been included in those books. And those books you should have in your library. See, see, means now the equation becomes. If you have a library of reactions, if you have a library of rearrangements, if you have a library of reagents, then you will become master in organic synthesis. You will become master in organic chemistry. With this message, see, as we are studying name reactions, rearrangements, reagents in organic synthesis, different types of reactions, substitution, addition, elimination, stereochemistry, asymmetric synthesis, protective groups, functional group interconvergence, especially oxidation, reduction, different types of oxidation and reduction. See, this is the heart of organic chemistry. This is the heart of organic chemistry and you should, you should be expert in your specialization. In your specialization, at least expert in your specialization. If my specialization is physical chemistry, I should be expert in physical chemistry. My specialization is inorganic chemistry, I should be expert in inorganic chemistry. And along with your expertise, you have to prepare some other chapters as Russian chapter as I mentioned. See, then, see, in your university examination, we are asking such type of question. We are asking such type of question. How next set examination is easy as compared to in a university examination? Just I am showing with the help of some slide. Meantime, students can think what could be the answer for this question. These questions, this first, first reaction, reagent, second reagent, third reagent, fourth reagent, and how we will get this. Such type of question we are asking for the university examination for four marks we can consider for four marks. And this question is easier question for university examination. Another way we can ask, see, again this becomes just I have provided here the reaction condition. Reaction condition accordingly you have to write the intermediates over here. This is the typical question of university examination. If, if, if the setters are asking such type of questions, then only if setters setters, question paper setter. Then, most difficult question in university examination, see, and this question is for four marks. See, the another approach is, just I'm asking third, third approach, how will you prepare this particular compound? The same compound I have given over here. How will you prepare this particular compound? Sorry. How will you prepare this particular compound from benzene? I have provided a starting button. Then meantime, you have to think n number of intermediates, n number of reaction conditions, reagents. And this type of question is too much difficult. See, in university examination, such type of questions we are asking for four, four marks. Then last important question, last difficult question, suggest synthesis of this particular. The same target is here. The same target. Now, you don't have starting material, you don't have intermediate, you don't have reaction conditions. Then, then the the concept of retrosynthesis came in the picture and uh, you can solve with the help of retrosynthetic analysis. That is one of the approach. But if you have not studied retrosynthetic analysis, then the, this last question is too much difficult. Last question is too much difficult. Okay. Then, 
See, but in late and set examination, nowadays you have an answer, you have options, and just you have to choose a proper option amongst the four options. And selection of proper option is important over here. Meantime, I will ask two small questions. See, small question. Again, this question can be asked in different ways. How many constitutional or structural isomers exist for C6H12 that have a cyclopropyl ring in their structure? If this question is asked for university examination, for university examination, draw the number of constitutional isomers exist for C6H12. Constitutional isomers. See. Having cyclopropyl ring, meantime, you should have options. If how many, then the students will write one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then, then if correct answer is there, then you will get 100% mark. If you have written wrong answer, you will lose all the marks. But if the question is like, write, write, the constitutional isomers exist for C6H12. Accordingly, you will write one isomer you will get one mark. If you write two answers, you will get two marks. If you write three, then you will get three marks. But in net and set examination, options were there. Options two, four, five, and six option is there. Two, four, five, and six option is there. Meantime, meantime, if, if, if someone, someone, someone is expert in solving such type of problems, they will make randomly tick on three, he will lose his complete marks. If you tick on the option five, again, he will lose. But, but somebody can tick on six, the answer, fourth of answer, where the answer is a six, randomly he will make tick mark. Randomly he will get the marks. But most of the people, they will lose the mark. Because they have not understand properly. Understanding of organic chemistry is important. And see over here, these are the six structures. I have seen many times at many places. First time I am providing the structures of all the constitutional isomers for this molecular formula. All these constitutional isomers. Many times those who have qualified SET, NET, GATE examinations and those who are teaching organic chemistry since 20 years, 25 years, they are also unable to have an answer of this question. See, these are the six structural isomers for this particular formula having cyclopropyl being. Like this way, we will have a practice of solving such type of wonderful questions. And this question, this question, never asked in the net set and get examination. I will tell you, because this question is too much a difficult question. This question is a too much a difficult question. Okay, another question. As I have decided, our approach should be problem solving approach. See, again, similar type of question. Typical question is there. How many alkenes? Molecular formula is given, C7H12. Could you treat? They have not provided structure. How many alkenes, C7H12, could you treat with hydrogen platinum? Just reduction reaction to prepare methyl cyclohexane. Now you have a structure of methyl cyclohexane and you have a molecular formula and accordingly you have to draw the structure. That's why I have given the tips. You should know the structures from the molecular formula or from the names of the compounds. You should have a structure. Then how many structures for this C7H12? After reduction of that particular compound, you will get methyl cyclohexane. If I will ask over here, one, two, three, four options, A, B, C, D options are there. One, two, three, four. Then again, someone will tick mark on one, someone will tick mark on two, someone will tick mark on three, and someone will tick mark on four. If this question is asked for university examination, draw the, draw the structures of those alkenes having molecular formula C7H12, which on treatment with this H2PT juice methyl cyclohexane. Then someone will draw only one after remembering the structure. For university examination, this question is too much difficult. But for net and set examination, I, we are providing the options. Answers are there. 
but but if you think properly you will get proper answer over here just see these alkenes these alkenes use definitely methyl cyclohexane okay see how problem solving approach can have becoming in master in organic chemistry another question see just this is the question for you the question is too much difficult for reading this question requires a minute for understanding this question requires a minute i think and uh, we don't have that that much time in sec net and get examination if this question is for two marks if this question is for two marks then you have to spend maximum two minutes and to understand this question requires two minutes many times students are leaving this such type of questions even though the answer is very simple whatever it may be the compound whatever it may be the compound are you 486 okay whatever it molecular formula c28 h35 no2 its structure contains c contains five double bonds and one triple bond is there one triple bond is there how many rings are in are you 486 very simple question see you have a molecular formula you have a given number of double bonds you have given number of triple bonds accordingly you can find out the double bond uh, extension dbe or sites of unsaturation unsaturation with the help of molecular formula you can find out that sites of unsaturation if number of sites of, of unsaturation in your hand just you have to minus these sites of unsaturation for double bonds as well as the triple bond and then you will have the number of sites of unsaturation and accordingly one site of unsaturation for a ring one site of unsaturation for a ring accordingly you will have an answer for this particular question the very simple questions are asked in competitive examination but if you if you have asked this question for university examination then this is a difficult question okay then we will start with a simple question as rightly mentioned by chaskar sir and uh, chaskar sir has given something uh, to you uh, today sir today sir as well as i sir why not to have a this feeding tool 12 standard student as well as bsc first year second year and third year student because if they are listening such type of lectures at bsc first year definitely they will qualify net set and get examination in the after completion of msc first year definitely i'm sure about this one and your curriculum will help you for qualifying such type of wonderful exam see as this is a very famous reaction famous reaction everyone knows just i will read i will spend only one minute when phenol is created with chloroform and nawh the product formed is if you know the reaction then accordingly you will write the answer correct way because answer is there and if the same question is asked in the university examination then you have to draw the structure of phenol then you have to write cscl3 nawh what type of intermediate will form then you have to write the mechanism and it may take so much time but for university uh, for competitive examination directly you can hit the answer correct way as it never forms benzoic acid it never forms benzaldehyde because your starting material is phenol it never forms salicylic acid because as you know the reaction reaction and it gives salicylate the only product okay why i have given this first simple question to you simple and this is the question of 12 standard again today sir this is the question of 12 standard even though msc second year students they are unable to have answer of this particular question this see the second question when phenyl magnesium bromide reacts with tertiary butanol which of the following is formed which of the following is formed as rightly mentioned by prashankar sir organic metallic chemistry is important organic metallic chemistry but not for university examination for but for forever but for forever see if i have studied grignard reagent in 12th standard i should not forget grignard reagent at 12th standard you should remember whatever grignard reagent you have studied at 12th standard again for msc second year see what are it may be the question just i will solve this particular question orally 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 see because in examination we should solve orally when phenyl magnesium bromide reacts with tertiary butanol 
alcohol is there green and reagent is there and we have studied uh, in common way green and reagent on reaction with alcohol what could be the product mean time mean time all our participant they may have decided the answer just we will think phenol just last option we will think phenol phenol how phenol will come if green and reagent if green and reagent on reaction with some base then only you will have phenol then only you will have phenol see because there is a nucleophile and we have some electrophilic nature of that alcohol nucleophile is already there that is ph minus is already there and just it will react with the electrophile electrophile is nothing but butyl okay the two options tertiary butyl methyl ether see it never forms it never forms see ph minus is there that will take the proton from the any alcohol proton from the any alcohol means any grignard reagent on reaction with any alcohol just it will take the proton and have a hydrocarbon have a hydrocarbon if methyl magnesium bromide on reaction with methanol it never forms ether it will form methane only if phenyl magnesium bromide on reaction with water on reaction with alcohol it will form benzene only even though this answer i have seen at many places 90% students they are making silly mistake even though we have studied this green art case then as everyone knows which of the following is a lucas reagent uh, just i will skip that slide because uh, due to time time constraint we will have a another focus the reaction which involves dichlorocarbene as an electrophile if this is the question asked for university examination at uh, at bsc first year give them that particular named reaction where dichlorocarbene formation takes place 90% student will fail in this particular question i can make another type of question ketene formation takes place in the following reaction or which of the uh, which of the reaction gives ketene intermediate which of the rearrangement forms isocyanate intermediate list the rearrangements which forms isocyanate intermediate again the answer will be difficult then azir in which of the rearrangement azirin intermediate formation takes place see if such type of questions we are asking to university examination and we don't have answer but in competitive examination nowadays answers are there just we have to find the correct answer over here and just now we have discussed that particular reaction that is a rimmer tiemann reaction where dichlorocarbene formation takes place because as we you know friedel craft acylation acyl cation is there fitting reaction another intermediate for colby reaction another intermediate okay. see <clears throat> see this is the question again simple questions i have considered over here simple simple questions because uh, at early stage you have to solve such type of problem at early stage you have to solve such type of problems the most suitable reagent for the conversion of primary alcohol is the primary alcohol to aldehyde primary alcohol to aldehyde as we know very well many answers many times the students are writing kmno4 potassium dichromate jones reagent many times many times suggest so suitable reagents for the conversion of following transformation but amongst the reagents that is important amongst the reagents that is important because which is the most suitable and the question is like most suitable read the question properly read the question properly most suitable reagent okay if we consider kmno4 and potassium dichromate no doubt they are oxidizing agent but they are strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent even though chromium trioxide also as well even though chromium trioxide as well that is also strong oxidizing agent but one of the reagent is given the pcc you should know about the reactivity of pcc you should know the reagent first that's why this is the abbreviation this is the name of the reagent and you should know about the history behind this particular reagent pcc pyridinium chlorochromate pyridinium chlorochromate that reagent is discovered by ej koryakin and how many more applications in organic synthesis organic transformation and this is the most suitable reagent because this is a mild reagent 
which selectively oxidizes primary alcohol to aldehyde and that reaction will stop at this stage only no over oxidation if jones reagent is there over oxidation takes place you will have acid then simple simple questions we will discuss uh, because <clears throat> and those who are attending the class this particular uh, lecture those who are studying at bs third year uh, they will enjoy definitely uh, how such type of questions can be asked in the net set and get examination which of the following is used in the manufacture of bakelite as a polymer chemistry topic which we have studied in 12th standard or in bsc as well bsc as well uh, one of the topic and uh, which of the following is used in the manufacture of bakelite bakelite as we are teaching to the students polymer chemistry bakelite is nothing but uh, some uh, resin some resin some resin is here and see if only formaldehyde which never forms bakelite only phenol never forms bakelite combination of formaldehyde and ethyl alcohol never forms combination of ethyl alcohol and form uh, phenol and ethyl uh, ethyl alcohol and phenol this is not answer then combination of phenol and formaldehyde combination of phenol and formaldehyde in presence of acid catalyst you will have phenol formaldehyde resin and that phenol formaldehyde resin is nothing but acid okay see simple question can get two marks within a fraction of a second if you know in detail okay now if 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 this is the question asked in the university examination how will you distinguish two pentanol from three pentanol chemically which reagent can be used for distinguishing two pentanol and three pentanol two pentanol and three pentanol see this is the most important point over here two pentanol that's why to have an answer of this particular question you should have a structure without structure one cannot have an answer first of all two pentanol at two position ch3 co ch2 ch2 ch3 this is the structure for two and three symmetrical structure ch3 ch2 co ch2 ch3 see the conditions just i am providing to you and we will have from uh, uh, any one a option that is potassium dichromate sulfuric acid whether these two compounds on reaction with this potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid nothing will happen nothing will happen it may get oxidized but nothing will happen under acidic condition this particularly c for b option zinc hgscl you should have application of this particular reagent you should know the named reaction that particular named reaction this condition is used for the reduction of carbonyls to hydrocarbons for the reduction of carbonyls to hydrocarbons flammable sulfur reduction is used. see this is the reaction condition for flammable sulfur reduction and see either two pentanol or three pentanol on reduction you will get n pentane means we cannot distinguish with the help of this reaction condition then selenium dioxide see selenium dioxide as every one may have studied in msc fourth semester this selenium dioxide this particular selenium dioxide for the oxidation of ketones as well if acetophenone is the example acetophenone or oxidation by means of selenium dioxide you will get phco cho even though how to make uh, benzyl from phco ch to ph that oxidation may takes place with the help of selenium dioxide with the help of selenium dioxide see means alpha oxidation of ketones acetone take a simple example ch3 co ch3 one of the methyl group will get oxidized into aldehyde here two pentanol and three pentanol alpha oxidation takes place means we cannot distinguish with the help of selenium dioxide as well and last condition iodine naoh as everyone have studied i do form test how to distinguish aldehyde and ketones with the help of iodoform that is naoh and uh, uh, iodine just to treat that iodine with uh, that particular ketone and this two pentanol will release iodoform chi3 but this iodoform will not release from pentanol just that will act as a base and it will attack on carbon in carbon or alpha iodination takes place but in two pentanol alpha iodination three iodo groups will come on that alpha position and after uh, reaction with naoh that oh minus will attack on carbonyl group elimination of ci3 minus and abstraction of proton takes place and you will have a iodo form as carboxylic acid 
See, this is a simple question. Then, everyone should read this question neatly, neatly, I am saying, neatly, carefully. One of the, my colleague yesterday, he has suggested me focus on such type of important points, important points. See, accuracy. Accuracy is important in NET and SET examination. How much question you have solved, that doesn't matter. How much, uh, how many questions you have solved, solved with correct answer. That is important. Correctness is important. That's why meantime you have to read the question neatly, carefully. In which of the following reaction, new carbon-carbon bond is not formed? Now we will start with one by one. As we have read question carefully, carbon-carbon bond formation does not take place. In Friedel craft reaction, it may be alkylation or acylation. Carbon-carbon bond formation takes place. Benzene plus methyl chloride, methyl carbocation, formation of turmeric, carbon-carbon bond formation. In alcohol condensation, two aldehydes, carbon ion, it will attack on carbonyl carbon, carbon carbon bond formation. Woods reaction, two alkyl halides, higher hydrocarbon formation takes place, carbon carbon bond formation. But Canadian reaction, one aldehyde gets converted into acid and another aldehyde gets converted into alcohol. Means oxido reduction reaction, redox reaction, oxidation of one benzaldehyde unit, another. Uh, Benzaldehyde gets converted into reduced product that is a benzene alcohol. That's why reading of question is important. Carbon carbon bond is not formed. Okay, we will uh, have a skip this question and we have another question. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> See, read the question properly. And if the same question, we don't have options in our hand. Suggest suitable reagent for the following organic transformation. In university examination, we are asking such type of question. As we are considering, we are asking difficult questions to our students rather than in net examination. In net or set examination, answers are there. But in our university examination, we are asking such type of question for one mark to be sir. For one mark, one mark, suggest suitable reagent for the following transformation. If you are written proper answer, you will get 100% mark. If you are written false answer, you will lose 100% mark. That is important. See over here. See the reactivity of starting material and what kind of changes in your product. That's important. What kind of change in the product? Only ketone group is converted into hydrocarbon. Complete reduction. Complete reduction, not partial reduction. That's why you should learn reduction topic very well. Very well. This is the complete reduction. Then we will have uh, options from D option. We will come. Uh, how to remove wrong op options first. How to remove wrong options. And how to find out correct op option. See, last option, sodium borohydride. As we know very well, sodium borohydride reduces carbonyl groups to alcohols. Here, the final product is hydrocarbon. Okay. Sodium borohydride is not suitable answer. Then hydrogen and nickel, just reduction. In this reduction, reduction of ketone group under some certain condition, reduction of ketone group to alcohol takes place. Then first reaction condition we will have, first reaction condition, I'm skipping second reaction condition B. First reaction condition, just we have talked about Clemens and reduction. ZNHT SCL is there. What it will do? No doubt it will reduce ketone group to hydrocarbon. But under acidic condition, elimination reaction takes place. Elimination of that alcohol dehydration takes place. That's why this reaction condition is not suitable reaction. Analysis of question is important. Critical analysis of question is important. Okay, that A option is wrong option. Now remaining B option. B option, full Kishner reduction. Under basic condition, that OH group O minus or ONA, it will remain intact and we can reduce this ketone group to hydrogen. See, such type of simple, simple questions, they are asked in late set and DSA exam. See, this is the question everyone can read. And uh, if this question is asked, just consider question, don't consider options. What type of elide is needed to make 3-ethyl, 3-heptene from 3-heptanol in a reaction? If this question is asked for two marks, 
few marks. Then you have to try permutation combinations. First of all, you have to draw the structure of three pentagon towards the left side, and to the right side, you have to draw this draw the structure of whatever product. Draw the structure of starting metal. Draw the structure of product. That is why that is why structures are important. Organic chemistry is nothing but structural chemistry. If you know the structures, then only you can attempt such type of questions. Otherwise, if you don't know the structure, you have to do this type of question. If you have to draw the structure of three pentagon, then three ethyl three heptene towards the right side, and then what kind of thing is added over here with the help of Wittig reaction? That's why you should know Wittig reaction. Furthermore, you should know the Wittig reaction. Without knowing the Wittig reaction, then it is difficult. Then, if you don't know the Wittig reaction, okay. How you can solve such type of question? You have a starting material, you have product. What type of addition is there? Or new addition? Accordingly, you have to find the answer amongst the given answer. Student can find correct answer over here. I don't want to waste time. We will have some other question. Okay. See. Meantime, you can read the question. What product? What product? Small mistake is there. What product do you expect in the following reaction? What product do you expect in the following reaction? Such type of question is asked in the uh, MSc, uh, sorry, BSc TY examination. Cyclohexanol plus pyrrolidine plus two cyclic acid. Okay, cyclohexanol, everyone can draw this cyclohexanol. Pyrrolidine, everyone can draw the pyrrolidine, but there may be the small confusion. Small confusion in the structure of pyrrolidine, whether it is a five membered or six membered, whether it is cyclic or acyclic, that is first problem. Once you know it is a cyclic, then whether it is five member or six member, then next small question may arise: tosylic acid. What do you mean by tosylic acid? It is a uh, another name for tosylic acid, para tosylic acid, or para toluene sulfonic acid, or PTAC. That's why you have to know the structure of that tosylic acid. Now we have a question in the form of uh, uh, names. Then. And you have to find out the correct answer. As we have decided, pyrrolidine is five membered. Five membered. It is a five membered. Now we have a choice of two only. We can remove C and D. Very first fraction of that particular unit. Then we have two choices: A and B. Either A and B. C. If cyclohexanol plus pyrrolidine plus tosylic acid under acidic condition. As every one may have studied uh, this particular reaction in BSc third year, as or it may be at MSc level. See, stark inamine reaction, inamine, inamine intermediate. See that inamine, 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 inamine. That is important. Here, in is there and which is attached to the amine, which is attached to, to that particular carbon amine is there. Here, within the ring of pyrrolidine, the reaction never takes place. The reaction never takes place because only acidic condition. There is no any reaction. There is no any oxidation over here. Okay, that's why our option is B option. Okay, then okay, we will not talk about that. Uh, yeah, I am covering simple simple questions. Which of the following aldehydes is required to make this particular? Okay, in net and set examination, but for University examination, if you ask the question, how will you prepare this particular compound from easily available starting? How will you prepare this particular compound? Okay, then we have to think a lot. Those who have understand properly retrosynthetic analysis, they will they will find out correct answer for this question. What type of aldehydes? Aldehydes, aldehydes is required to make this particular compound. We will discuss. And we will have a from one by one, one by one. We will come from last point. How to remove wrong options if I don't know? Okay, two phenyl butanol. Two phenyl butanol means CH, CH2, 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 CH only. Four carbons in their structure. Now we can have this skeleton. How will you add this phenyl ring over here? It is not possible at all for question with respect to that particular means our option. D option is the wrong option. Then C option, benzaldehyde. From benzaldehyde, how will you make this particular aldehyde? If I have taken benzaldehyde is one of the starting material, as we have just seen 
that the carriage of the reaction with the help of benzaldehyde we cannot make this particular article then another one two phenyl propanol only three carbons are there two phenyl propanol three carbons are there how we can add another carbon as well as phenyl that is a difficult task and a option if you have a phenyl ethanol phenyl ethanol see ph ch to ch ph ch to ch if you take two equivalents of this one aldol condensation reaction ph ch to ch in one of the uh, this ph ch to ch you can make carbon ion and you can attack that carbon ion on the another molecule of phenyl ethanol you will get this particular ions that's why that's why you should know this type of uh, chemistry behind this okay see this is the question again in front of you what two components can be used to prepare the following compound using the robinson annulation reaction okay the same question one can ask in the university examination how will you prepare this particular compound uh, how will you prepare this particular compound if i am providing some named reactions over there in another way i can ask the uh, this particular synthesis of this compound how will you prepare this particular compound using using michael addition reaction followed by intramolecular aldol condensation here we have provided robinson annulation directly okay and the last way if in the net and set examination such type of questions are there such type of questions see uh, such type of options are there we will follow one by one see we know this particular product we need and we can have a treating uh, this particular we will start from a we will start from a a cyclopentenone is there and we will have this beta diketone is there this cyclopentenone can use michael addition type of product no doubt we can make carbon ion in this beta diketone attack will take place at beta position and we will not get this particular compound this particular compound then we can have another this particular beta dicarbonyl com uh, compound carbon ion beta attack takes place then followed by it never forms the particular respective compound then c over here in the d option carbon ion will form over here and then it will attack at beta position of this alpha beta unsaturated ketone but but if you see the methyl group will come on at on this carbon not on this particular cyclopentanone carbon cyclopentanone to 16 carbon okay means no doubt this compound gives michael addition but it never forms this particular product now one is remaining carbon ion formation takes place here because this is the active methylene compound carbon ion will takes place michael addition reaction we will have these two methylene groups over here and we will have carbonyl group and we will have one methyl group you can have carbon ion again over here and we will have a intramolecular aldol condensation with this carbonyl group and followed by dehydration you will get this particular compound means like this way we can solve such type of questions they are asked by the net state and get examination for four marks okay then simple question uh today sir how much time i have how much time because this is the series of questions are there series of questions please continue sir yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay <clears throat> see predict the product of the following reaction huh? typical question of in your examination typical question predict the product with mechanism with mechanism typical question see in this question first reaction condition is sodium ethoxide base is there followed by methyl chloride is there and third step is hydrolysis step is there hydrolysis followed by heat you should know functions of each and every reaction conditions functions functions of each and every reaction conditions. see in in first step what is uh, what will happen formation of carbon ion takes place over here in active methylene group formation of carbon ion see formation of carbon ion will takes place over here carbon ion formation and once carbon ion it will attack on methyl group methyl group of methyl chloride means methylation takes place over here methylation takes place over here okay after methylation what is the next step see i have not provided the options to you 
Now, in another way, we can solve the question if you know the chemistry, if you know the reactivity of your starting materials. Now, we have methyl group over here. Then, next step, hydrolysis. Hydrolysis of this diester, geminal diester with here. Okay. Hydrolysis of this geminal diester, you will have a geminal carboxylic acid, geminal dicarboxylic acid. COH, COH over here. Means dicarboxylic acid and last reaction condition. Last reaction condition is E. It means that decarboxylation of that particular dicarboxylic acid takes place. Dicarbo uh, sorry, decarboxylation of that particular dicarboxylic acid takes place. See over here. They have not provided the structures. They have provided the names. Then again, difficult task. But if you know the chemistry, you will solve this type of question. You see, see, we will have a the final product is carboxylic acid. The final product is carboxylic acid, just we have seen over here. Now we can have a, remove this A option because it is a distance. We can remove that distance part. Then C, we have incorporated methyl group at two position over here. Two position with respect to carboxylic acid. If you know the name of that particular compound, then you can have a proper answer. We have introduced here methyl group, that's why some methyl group should be here. Means it should not be straight chain uh, answer. Means hexanoic acid is not the answer. Now we have two options. In, in remaining two options, C option 2 butyl 2 methyl propane dioic acid. Propane dioic acid is whatever product is there earlier to that product. They have given this dicarboxylic acid, name of that dicarboxylic acid. But the last reaction condition is heat. This decarboxylation takes place, and you will have a two methyl hexanoic acid. Is the correct answer. Okay. Okay. See, now predict the product. Again, typical question. Bromination of this uh, cyclohexanol. This question is asked me in the gate examination for two marks. Gate examination in the two for two marks, bromine and NaOH. They have not given equivalence of bromine and NaOH. Equivalence. It may be two equivalence, it may be three equivalence, it may be four equivalence. As per the reactivity of your starting material. Reactivity, I'm saying. Reactivity. See, as I'm providing to you some of the options over here. Some of the options. See, monobromination in first step. Monobromination at hinder site. At hinder site. Because that NaOH will form carbon ion and then reaction with bromine. You will have monobromation. See, again, again, there is a there is a possibility of formation of carbon and over here because that carbon is uh, that protons are acidic one. Again, formation of carbon and over here. Either this side or this side. See here, dibromination takes place. Or this option, this option. See, bromination at this side. Dibromination at this side. And last option is polybromination. Whether this last uh, this C option is correct? Yes, it is a correct. Because, because, see, monobromination, uh, see over here, bromination takes place, again, carbon ion will form. There is no possibility of Fiorescu rearrangement over here. Because, because Fiorescu rearrangement condition, they have not expected over here. They have expected only bromination. Only bromination. Okay, that's why, that's why only bromination takes place. Now, we will have some simple, simple questions. Again, uh, I have mentioned over here, uh, this question is asked in the examination of 8, 2011. See, understand the question properly. Understand the question. If if these options or answers are not given, and above question is given in the university examination, what do you think? No one will answer this particular question. I'm sure about this one. Those who have studied this reaction properly, they will answer this question. See, what is this reaction? Cyclohexenone on reaction with benzaldehyde under catalytic condition of sodium cyanide in DNA. In DNA. See, how will you solve this particular question? How will you solve? As uh, sometimes we have studied benzoin condensation. Benzoin condensation, two equivalents of benzaldehyde, two equivalents of benzaldehyde, sodium cyanide, use benzoin. This is the same ben benzoin type of reaction, same benzoin. But while considering this starting material, we have taken two different starting materials. 
even though we are teaching benzoyl condensation by considering to same equivalence of benzyl diets it may be benzyl diet it may be uh, formal diet it may be nitrobenzyl diet it may be anisal diet it may be chlorobenzyl diet two equivalent on reaction with sodium cyanide and accordingly we are find, find, uh, finding corresponding benzyl but if you give two different aldehydes then accordingly you have to react with sodium cyanide see now see over here the first and important thing is that among these two products which one is a more reactive against the sodium cyanide most reactive against the sodium cyanide that's why reactivity of starting materials is good okay which of the less electrophilic in nature which is a soft electrophile in among these two cases see among these two benzyl diet is a soft soft one first first soft one oh sorry more reactive more reactive as compared to uh, that cyclohexene this sodium cyanide will react with the uh, benzyl diet cn then lightly benzoin that proton abstraction may take place by the o minus and formation of carbonyl means ampolum chemistry and once carbonyl takes place it will attack at beta position of this cyclohexene again further carbonyl takes place and that carbonyl will take the proton from oh group that electrons will come down and elimination of cyanide group this is the chemistry beautiful chemistry is there beautiful chemistry is there and no one is studying like this way by taking two different starting materials for benzoin condensation now you can find out the product now i can remove these two a and c directly a and c directly because 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 at alpha position with respect to ketone group never takes place c in c also they have changed the position but in b they have kept double bond as it is it is difficult to have introduction of this coph group at beta position but it is possible in b case now <clears throat> we will have some simple compounds again simple compounds as uh, rightly mentioned by virashin karsar it is one of the point uh, you have to have a organometallic chemistry huh? organometallic chemistry but i do consider synthetic organic chemistry whole synthetic organic chemistry is important for the preparation of the okay how to apply that organic chemistry for structure determination sorry for your product determination is important see read the question carefully intermediate formed in marriage reaction or the same question i can ask to you which of the intermediate will form in marriage reaction we never teach to our student what kind of intermediate name of that particular intermediate even though we are teaching reaction between formal diet and secondary amines in presence of acid we are getting that particular intermediate in marriage reaction but we are not giving name to that particular intermediate but now we don't know exact intermediate but we can find out we can find out carbon formation we know in rimortimate reaction do you agree with this one carbon formation takes place in rimortimate reaction then cyclopropane ring formation i can give number of examples number of examples cyclopropane formation takes place in simon smith reaction again organometallic organo zinc okay cyclopropane not only in uh, simon smith but korean chaikovsky reaction again cyclopropanation takes place then azirin intermediate those who have studied rearrangement properly azirin intermediate never rearrangement azirin intermediate azirin is different azirin is different okay only one is remain ischial mother ischial mother sorry whatever the intermediate after getting by treating formal diet with secondary amines in presence of acid whatever intermediate we are getting is nothing but ischial mother and just marriage has utilized with that ischial mother salt ischial mother how first decided and by his name one of the reaction famous reaction is there ischial mother tanabe fragmentation reaction ischial mother tanabe fragmentation reaction many times in the net examination this particular reaction is asked this particular reaction is ischial mother tanabe then then next question which among the following compounds will form grignard reagent with magnesium chloride organometallic reagent read the question carefully which among the following compounds will form grignard reagent with magnesium and chloride among the following 
see the more here first one is bromomethyl no doubt it will form grignard reagent ph mg br no doubt then i can come towards the second one dibromo benzene is there beta dibromo benzene no doubt both the bromic will form dianine over there and that dianine is stable in b position okay means our a option a plus b plus we have to think which of among the following compounds will form will form the question is like that again again whether we will have a, this d option again yes tara dibromo benzene also forms grignard tara dibromo also forms the grignard reagent what about c ortho dibromo benzene never forms grignard reagent because one bromine will form carbonyl and that electrons will go inside the benzene ring and elimination of bromine takes place and formation of that benzene intermediate formation of that benzene intermediate c means i can modify the question in difficult way among the following reagent uh, following compounds which compound never forms grignard reagent and i have asked the similar type of questions to our students okay among the following which does not forms grignard reagent means c option never forms grignard reagent remaining a c and d with form grignard reagent options will be like that okay now for the sake of some important uh, rearrangement just basic rearrangement i am taking typical example is there typical example find out the product correct product correct product only acid catalyzed rearrangement if you don't know the name of that particular rearrangement then also you can solve but you should know you should be expert in the reaction mechanism reaction mechanism and accordingly you can find the respective product okay here everyone have studied that dinone phenol rearrangement dinone phenol rearrangement everyone at bsc third year or msc level dinone phenol but whatever two substituents at this one we have seen both the substituents are same both the substituents either phenyl or methyl or some cyclopentane ring is there and accordingly we have done migration accordingly we have but here here after protonation electrons will go towards that electron deficient carbon and migration of one of the group matrix and there is a question mark which group will migrate and will form stable product that is a phenol stable product phenol now i can remove two options c and d because there is a saturated double bond saturated sp3 hybridized carbons are here this i can remove this two straight away now i have a choice of a and b then which group will migrate and while doing migration of any one of the group your carbocation should be stable carbocation stable carbocation should be there if i migrate this phenyl group towards this side we have this electron withdrawing group co2 et positive charge that is not a stable carbocation means it means that migration of ester group rather than phenyl group takes place over this carbon means a option is correct and this beautiful example is given in the book of cladon beautiful example asked in many times okay now another type of question is asked in many times in the net set and get examination how will you calculate overall yield of any reaction overall yield and just i have given one of the example if a is converted into b b to converted into c c to converted into d then what would be the overall a uh, yield of d from a how to given though many of the students they have completed their phd degree then also they are unable to have answer of this particular question because many times students may have carried out their single state transformation single state transformation that's why they are unable to have a calculation of this overall yield but it's a very simple step. it's a very simple job even though the reaction is a 100 step reaction again it is a very simple job here 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 the option here here the correct answer just how to calculate just you have a 90 80 or uh, 50 these three steps are there it is a very much easier job just you can multiply 0.9 with 0.8 Means nine into eight, seventy-two. Means seven I can consider. Seven I can consider, and that seven, seven can multiply with five. Thirty-five means around thirty-six. Is nine eight za 
72. Multiply that 72 with 5. 72 divided by 2, 50 percent. 72 divided by 50 percent because 50 percent yield for the last step just 36 percent. Overall yield is 36. Such type of questions are asked in many times for NATE and state exams. Uh, before uh, coming to the end point, just uh, two typical examples I used to consider over here. Uh, many examples I have a collection of more than uh, more than I can say I would lack such type of beautiful problems without answer, without answers, without answers uh, over there because it is uh, difficult to have a draw the answer mechanism for each and every transformation over here. Okay, see, this is the one transformation. How to solve this particular transformation? If I have not studied that particular reaction. See, in the starting material, typical cyclopentane, pentene is here. In one side, some ketone group, in another side, some alkyl group, alkyl half is here. And in the product, we have a ketone along with some alkyl part is here. Alkyl part. That alkyl part is having some configuration, fixed configuration, shared configuration is here. See, shared configuration is here. And towards this side, left side in the product, one, two, three methyl groups are there. One, two, three methyl groups are there. Accordingly, we have to find out the product. And towards the right side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven methyl groups are there. See, see over here. Number of carbons in the starting material remains as it is in the product. Number of carbons. Whatever functional groups in the starting material as it is in the product. Is the beauty of this particular See, number of double bonds in the starting material as it is in the product. Only, 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 only the change is that, only the change is that here some cyclic skeleton, here some skeleton. Now, now, how I can solve this particular problem? If you know that better, better reaction, then only you can. But I can have a river. I can have a river. See, this Z double bond will come from al alkyl C triple bond C. Reduction of C triple bond C. Again, different types of reaction conditions. With birth reduction condition, you will have a trans. Birth reduction condition, you will have a trans. But we don't want that trans reaction. We don't, we want Z condition, cis condition. Birth reduction condition is not suitable, and here they have not provided birth reduction condition. That again, uh, one of the options is where we can do. Then, second reaction condition H2PDC means simple catalytic hydrogenation. Simple catalytic hydrogenation. Catalytic hydrogenation of triple bond, alkyl, you will get straightway hydrocarbon. Straightway, you will get hydrocarbon. This you can remove these two options as well again. Two and three. Now we have a this two. Among these two, because this question is for four marks, and I have to have a four minutes in my time. If you have solved this question, I will get four marks. Four marks within four minutes. And for qualifying the net and set examination, what it requires? 100 or 115 marks. And we have a 180 minutes in our time. Correct? No? More than that one also. Okay, not more than that because the paper for uh, this one, uh, this paper is of two and a half hours. Okay, that's why we have a uh, more, more uh, around 150 minutes in our head. And we have to have 100 marks. We have to have 150 marks. Okay, now two remaining options are there. How I can solve? See, first reaction condition means I have this starting material EMCPBA. Metachloropermethylase. And we have studied very well. This particular reagent is used for the epoxidation of polyphenols. Randomly, we have studied, randomly, I am saying randomly. Epoxidation of polyphenols, as well as this MCPBA, is used for oxidation of carbonyls to lactones or esters through beer vinegar oxidation. But we never studied, we never taught to the students. If the substrate contains ketone as well as olefin, to the substrate contains both the functionality, where this reagent will be. Okay. See, 
beautiful question here. And if we have considered this MCP ion reaction with this ketone, then you will have an ester. And we don't have ester. See, apply this simple technique over here. Then, then, and again, furthermore, this MCP behavior never reacts with this alpha beta unsaturated system. It never forms epoxide. To make epoxide, it requires hydrogen peroxide and NaOH. You see the beautiful reaction. I think in many of the universities of India, they have not incorporated this particular reaction. This particular reaction. We have incorporated this particular reaction in the year of 2010 and later on three times the question has been asked now this particular reaction. Okay, see, the Chaskar sir has given the message if you teach these particular things to the BSc first year students, definitely after five years, they will all will qualify that. That's why. The purpose of incorporation of such type of syllabus in our curriculum, uh, such type of points in our curriculum will benefit later on, not particularly for this. Not instant benefit, but for uh, long time benefit, we have considered that. See, hydrogen peroxide NH will have an epoxide in the first step. Second step, PSNH, NH2, tocyl hydroxide will form tocyl hydrazone over here along with epoxide. Then, Next step, acid catalyzer reaction. Acid catalyzed reaction. See what happens. We have epoxide, we have a tocyl hydrazone. That epoxide will take the proton. So, with the help of the lone pairs available on the oxygen, will take the proton from acetic acid. This OS formation takes place over there along with positive charge on that oxygen. Now, we have acetate ion. We have acetate ion. That acetate ion will take the proton from that tocyl hydrazone. And the electrons will come down, come down, and breaking of this carbon-carbon bond takes place, and formation of uh, opening of that epoxide takes place, and we have OH. Furthermore, that acetate ion will take the proton from OH, and breaking of that particular cyclopentane ring takes place, and you will have a alkyne over there. And you will have a ketone group towards this side, and you will have an alkyne. And once alkyne in your hand, you can reduce at the last step with the help of with the help of Lindar catalyst, that is nothing but hydrogen palladium on barium sulfate. Here they have given hydrogen palladium on barium sulfate. Here they have given hydrogen Lindar catalyst. Both are same. But the first step is wrong. If the first step is wrong, then accordingly you can decide the correct answer. Okay. See, but first step for fourth option and for second option is correct, but remaining steps are wrong. Okay. Then the last, last question for this particular discussion, uh, the correct reagent combination to effect the following transformation. If this is a question asked in the university exam. I do consider university examination is difficult than later later in the because we are not providing any kind of hints. Here, all, are, uh, all these are hints. All are hints. Just we have to choose proper answer among these. Now here, see. If I don't know what type of reaction conditions are used over here, I do consider. In the starting material, ester is there. In the product, ketone is there. See, and I should know how to have a ketone from ester. How to have a ketone from ester? Okay, we should know the reagent. Then, what is another transformation? This amide, lactam. Lactam is converted into amide. And I should have a library of reagents. Library of reagents. That's why. Reagents play an important role in organic chemistry. Okay, see, now we will have a, the options for it. We will have a, a, a first option. Accordingly, we will uh, attempt the question. In a option, in first option, first reaction condition is sodium borohydride VF3. What it will do? What it will do? Sodium borohydride never reacts with this amide. This amide. It never reacts with amide group. This it never reduces this amide group to this particular amide. Means our first option is a wrong option. This straight way I, I have removed this particular option. Then, 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 second option. Second option. Second option is boron THF complex. Boron THF complex. Very beautiful reagent. Very beautiful reagent is used for the reduction of carboxylic acid to alcohol. Just I am telling to you the applications of the reagent, 
Orient pH of complex reduces carboxylic acid to alcohol as well as it reduces amide to amide. Amide to amide. That is important. Now, 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 we have two options. Option number two and three because A, A step is the same. Borin pH of borin pH. Now, we have reduced this amide to this amide, no doubt. But how to convert that ester to ketone? That is important. If that ester is reacted with methyl lithium 2.5 equivalent, as we have studied organolithium reagents, okay, organolithium reagents, what will happen? Two equivalents of organolithium uh, reagents are there, and we have ester. First equivalent will form ketone. First equivalent will form ketone. Second equivalent will react with that particular ketone and formation of tertiary alcohol texture. This you will not get particularly this ketone. Rather than ketone, you will get uh, uh, tertiary alcohol. Now, if I if I have not seen this particular third, I can make tick mark for this particular third question. See, the for third boron is the first step reduction of amide to uh, amine. B first step NaOH and acid condition. What it means? Hydrolysis of that ester to carboxylic acid. We have a carboxylic acid. We have a carboxylic acid. Now, many times I'm asking the small question to, to the students: How will you convert benzoic acid to acetophenone? Even though they have studied, even though they have studied this particular transformation, how will you prepare acetophenone from benzoic acid? Student will know only how to, how will you prepare acetophenone from benzene via Friedel craft acid. But how will you convert benzoic acid to acetophenone? Not only acetophenone, but benzophenone from benzoic acid. Okay, see over here. So there are many more approaches we can follow, but amongst those approaches, which is the best. See, after having carboxylic acid, COH, react that carboxylic acid with two, two equivalents, or more than two equivalents of methyl lithium. First equivalent will abstract the proton from carboxylic acid. Abstraction of that proton will take place by means of uh, methyl lithium and will have a O minus Li plus. Second equivalent will react with electrophilic carbon of that CO, O minus, that CO. That methyl group will attack over there and then again breaking of that C double bond will take place O minus Li plus. Now O minus Li plus, O minus Li plus, we have those electrons will come down and breaking of that O Li bond as well takes place and we will have a CO methyl group in this formation. That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why this particular option is the correct option. See, third option is the correct option. And uh, before ending towards my lecture, uh, it's a difficult to have a discuss organic chemistry online mode, online mode, because uh, every time you have to have a board, it requires a board. It's a difficult task. But uh, uh, in this COVID pandemic 19, we are managing uh, this online mode teaching of organic chemistry. Uh, and uh, this wonderful workshop is conducted by this particular college. And uh, they have given opportunity to all of you participants from all over the India, as well as from abroad, uh, uh, those who wants to wish to listen the lectures delivered by Rashankar sir. Okay, and uh, see, dealing organic chemistry is nothing but dealing with various kinds of things. Yes, you should have a library of reagents. You should be rich in the reagent. Then only you can have a proper understanding of organic chemistry. There are many more teachers, many more researchers, many more learners of organic chemistry. But 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 they are forgetting this particular organic chemistry because they are not using several times. If I am discussing this particular chemistry, whatever learn I have learned today, if I discuss this chemistry with other people tomorrow in, or uh, day after tomorrow in other people's, and if I have done this practice for several times, I will not forget particular organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is not a volatile chemistry. Solvents are volatile. If you have prepared properly, if you have properly prepared this organic chemistry by efforts with understanding, then organic chemistry is not a volatile chemistry. It is a perfectly solid chemistry if you are prepared very well. With this message and having this beautiful diagram.
how one starting material can be converted into many products, many products with the help of some reagent, some reactions, and some reagent uh, rearrangements. Uh, how we can learn organic chemistry? With this, once again, I am very much thankful to the principal uh, of this particular partner college, uh, Ed, and uh, our mentor uh, friend, today, sir. It's the uh, entire team of that partner college, not only from chemistry department, but also from others, and uh, the participants from all over the India, uh, those who have listened my lecture patiently. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for you are delivering a very nice lecture on competitive examinations like NET and SET examination. Also, sir, you have shared actual list of books which are required for that is a preparing for the NET and SET examination. Sir, today we have learned a very new formula that is R cube is equal to OS, and today we learned that how that reaction rearrangement and reagents will help for the organic synthesis syllabus. <coughs> Today, sir, you have focused on the understanding and not memorization of the subject. We have learned very, that is, work on problems and practice more problems, use of quality and reference book for any topic. Also, sir, you have made all the participants to actively participate by attempting, attempting the questions that is, you have asked, and number of participants have replied for that questions. I'm very thankful to sir. If participants are having any questions, they can directly type into the chat box. Okay. If there are no questions, then I request Dr. Uh -huh. Sorry, Professor Sagar Maske, the coordinator of today's workshop, to further vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Madam, eight minute what pan at the Sunday Oh, yes, 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 sir. First, students, participants, delegates can ask either in English or in Marathi or Hindi. I will try my level best to have answer from those questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can, they can write in the chat box and uh, organizers can read those chat box because uh, I'm not seeing my chat box over here. I'm not uh, getting the chat box. Sir, both of you have a lot of uh, good comments for your uh, very fantastic lecture, sir. A lot of comments, sir. And many of the participants, students particularly, have interacted while solving questions. I have seen the participants from Gujarat, RK University, many more participants from RK University. I have seen RK University, Saurashtra, Rajkot, uh, yeah, many yeah. more participants from uh, MP, many more participants from Karnataka, as well as Haryana states. I have seen many more participants. Well, so the on the on time, sir. Yeah. As you mentioned, I went back to the registration seat and uh, check one of the participants is from China, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he wrote me in the morning session. In the morning, he wrote me message. Sir, I want to attend your class because after a long time, I, I want to listen to you. That's why he has written to me. <coughs> I think, sir, both lectures are uh, so much in fluent language that student had understood everything. So there is a no question. So I must uh, move for, forward and propose here a vote of thanks. So should we start vote of thanks, sir? One of the students has asked a question in a YouTube. So I will read that question. If yes, they sir. have any questions, they can uh, do write mail to me or they can uh, send message to me on the given mobile number or they can call me at any time. No issue. Sir, one of the students is asking which type of quality examinations are there for uh, BSc students and uh, how to prepare for those quality examinations. One of the students is asking in YouTube channel. Uh, repeat that question once again. Repeat, sir. Please, please. Uh, what kind of qualitative examinations are 
there for bsc students <laughs> yeah 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 i got your question sir uh, competitive examination see uh, that could be the another lecture sir uh, what kind of opportunities for bsc students what kind of opportunities see uh, first of all for entering in the post graduation no doubt for entering in the post graduation yeah, msc or mtech program yeah this is the one one thing second thing on the basis of graduation there are many more competitive examination to enter uh, in the, in the iits iits through jam examination jam jam examination jam jam examination is here yeah lot of opportunities for uh, undergraduate students as well because that is a separate lecture lot of opportunities <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, I think there are no questions, so we are moving to the last part of our national workshop, that is to propose a vote of thanks. Without saying thank you to all, it will be not the end of our workshop. Friends, first I would like to thank you all for giving a huge response. There are more than 1,000. The complete figure is 1,092 students. Thank you for uh, overwhelming response for this workshop. Friends, I would like first to say a big thank you to Principal Dr. M.G. Chaskar Sir, Dean Science and Technology, Savitribai Phule Pune University, Pune. In spite of his uh, busy schedule, he has given a time and motivate us with his inaugural speech. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable time and key words. Secondly, I would like to say a thank you to Dr. Gajanan Rashinkar, sir, professor of chemistry, Shivaji University, Kolhapur. As starting of the lecture, sir had said he is not feeling well, but as the lecture started on, the energy was full and there was no lack of energy for that lecture. Student have enjoy that lecture that lecture more and once again a true teacher always get the energy when students are in front of us so i say a big thank you sir for guiding our student in proper way and showing a complete roadmap for uh, competitive examinations in chemical science secondly i would like to say a thank you to dr bapurao shingte sir Assistant Professor of Chemistry, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Maratwada University, Aurangabad, Maratwada, <coughs> Maharashtra. Sir has delivered a very nice lecture and few key points which I would like to highlight that sir has given a list of books which we should refer. Secondly, sir has suggested how to approach a particular question with a taking an example. It is such a nice to view and understand how to solve a problem. And I think in today's lecture, we got a new formula of Bapurao Shimte sir, that is R cube is equal to OS. It's a very nice to listen to uh, people who are rich, enriched with their knowledge and they want to deliver to the student. Thank you to both resource person. A motivations and spirit. Our spirit is our Sansta Ahmadnagar Zilla Maratha Vidya Prasarak Samajas, who always motivate us to organize events which are student centric and helpful to the society. These There is a slight disturbance due to the network problem. So we will continue with vote of thanks. I would like to say a sincere thanks to President Honorable Nandokumar Zaure Patil sir, Vice President Honorable Ramchandra Dare sir, Honorable Secretary G.D. Khandeshi sir, Honorable Joint Secretary Advocate Vishwasrao Atre Patil sir, and Honorable Dr. 
Vivek Bhakar sir and all the honorable trustees and the members of Ahmednagar Jilla Maratha Vidya Prasarak Samaj Ahmednagar. <coughs> Thank you very much. Friends, as in inaugural speech, you must have heard our principal who is always a guiding force for us and put forward a role model for making such a type of the events. So I would like to say a thank you from the organization committee to our principal. Next, I would like to say a very thank you to principal Dr. D.R. Tube, sir, IKC coordinator and head of department, vice principal of our college, who has always given us a idea, new ideas and developed a model for all of us to arrange a such a kind of workshop. Thank you very much, sir. Lastly, I would like to say a thank you to all my colleagues who have contributed here for making this event big. Friends, it will be not complete a vote of thanks unless and until I say a big thank you to all the participants, to all the participants who have participated from Maharashtra and outside Maharashtra, all over parts of the country a big thank you and also from the abroad in china they have joined us thank you very much for joining this workshop thank you all for joining this last but not the least the two anchors my friend professor bhausai narsale and dr sarita kundalikar who have conducted this national event so smoothly that we are able to hear everything clearly and very Thank you all for giving us such a response, a huge response. Thank you, thank you very much. Friends, the feedback link is posted in chat box. It will be also sent to all as a personal email and also available on Telegram too. So if you have any problem regarding feedback link or you are not able to get this thing, you can directly contact with us. Thank you very much for a huge response. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, team. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tube, sir. Thank you very much for your uh, uh, accepting our invitation in a short time. And uh, you are the key person behind the organization of this kind of national workshop. You invited Rashinkar sir, you motivated all of us because of which we could conduct this event today. Uh, there, was, uh, there was some kind of interruption due to the internet connectivity, but still uh, we could not get any kind of disturbance today. Uh, I would like to thank our uh, technical team also for the continuous streaming and the continuous uh, internet services. Thank you very much sir. Thank you. Bye. We will be in touch.